Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to share the link of our video with everybody you see or you know. Uh, today our topic is about uh, who is the one is deceived. Uh, actually, I just saw a video uh, sent by Sheikh Ahmed. You know him, he's an admin, he's an ex-Muslim from Turkey. Uh, he's showing me a person who is a Muslim living in America, supposedly is a famous YouTuber. And he was talking about how a Muslim guy from Yemen who lived in USA was killed when he went back to Yemen, not when he is living between the kuffar and the drunk. You see, the, the Muslims, uh, because they are people who believe they are supreme, you can go watch his video. They are white supremacist people. Even some of them, they are not white. But the truth is, Islam is a white supremacist cult. And they think they are supreme in everything. If you watch this guy, he will say to you, he was saying, Oh, this brother, he was living between the drunken, the kuffar, the infidels, the one who drink and do bad things, blah, 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 blah. But the brother, when they call the ambulance, they come to him. You see the hypocrisy, how stupid he is. How they are drunken and how when you call the ambulance, they come to you. How they are drunken and they respect you. Maybe they respect you because you are, they, are, they are drunken, maybe. So a Muhammadan, he died to come to America. And then when he come to America, he start calling the American Kuffar. You can watch the video of uh, Sheikh Ahmad and you will see what I'm talking about. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel. Now, today our topic is more than uh, about, uh, you know, such a thing. Uh, about deception. And actually, this is one of the deception Muslims have. They think that they are supreme and they think they are uh, the right one and everyone is down low. He is an animal. Actually, the Quran says that anyone is not a Muslim, he is equal to anyone. It's an -am. In the front of us, we have an example of those people who teach, like in Indonesia, that Muslims are supremacists and the rest are garbage. And, uh, you know, we challenge all Muslims who claim to be a cleric or scholars uh, to feel free to call me and I will be happy to have you live on air. And I have no conditions. You see, the Muslims, when they want to debate somebody, if we can call it a debate, they start putting the conditions because they are, especially if you are someone like me, they put a lot of conditions because they are very much afraid of what's going to happen. People who put conditions because of what? Why you say, if I want to debate you, we have to do this. I mean, okay, then, uh, you know, you see people like, you know, those potatoes in YouTube saying, I like boxing. Who want to do boxing with me? And okay, okay, boxing, you know. Okay, no problem. Do you want to box me? Here, this is my boxing match. Why you want to put conditions? So when a Muslim, he tried to debate you, he tried to put your hands, the first, first conditions, you don't use your hands. Second conditions, you don't open your mouth. Third conditions, we talk as much as we want. Fourth conditions, you don't talk at all. This is what they want. They want somebody who knows nothing. Even if he talk, he say nothing. This is why they line up to debate someone who have a blue eyes. He know nothing about Islam, but when we show up online, we don't see the Muslims who want to debate us. All right? Uh, anyway, somebody asked Zakir Naik a question. And by the way, I'm going to open Skype in case you are a Muslim. <clears throat> and as you know, we don't have conditions. You speak nice, we speak nicer to you. You speak rude, I will whip the floor with, with your face, as usual. I think by now people know me. You are kind, I'm more kind than you. You are rude, well, have fun. Uh, from last time, there's a person, his name is uh, Drax. 
and he he said he's a Muslim. <clears throat> Let us see if we can call him to start our topic for today. to be uh, somebody who can answer if you are please let me know and I will be happy to call you immediately uh... in fact if you watch all my videos the Muslims when they call me they say to us the most silly, stupid things about their God. Last time we have a Muslim call me, if you remember, he said Allah is, he, his name is Abdul Wasiyah. Okay, why he's calling his name Al Wasiyah, the slave of Al Wasiyah? Because supposedly Allah have one name, well, one of the names of his names is Al Wasiyah. What does Al Wasiyah mean? The large. I mean, have you ever heard of religion? Their God is large. In Islam, size does matter. And I ask him, what Abdul Wasiyah mean? I know for sure what, I, what the word mean in Arabic. Uh, he said, uh, the slave of the large. I said, how large is Allah? He's larger than the chair he sit in? <laughs> he said, yes. I said, so how he can sit in it? <laughs> he said, no, he's smaller. I said, how smaller? <laughs> so the second you start asking questions, you will see how the religion collapse. This religion is fine, you know, I mean, not in general, like, you know, the idea of there's one God and the Prophet Muhammad was amazing, but yet he's a child molester, yet he is a drunk man, yet he married his wife by making the father drunk, yet he could not recognize the devil from shaitan, yet he don't, he, you know, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not, yet he was bewitched, all kinds of things. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, Sheikh Mohammed, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? You are fine. How's that? I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Hmm. Last time we have talked together, you have um, given me a exercise. I would, uh, I would. I give, yes. I give an exercise. Yes, to read uh, that and that hadith. Okay. <clears throat> And? Because uh, there are some hadith that I don't know, hmm. and I have um, read them, All right. and I found a few, hmm. not only a few, a bunch of hadiths and things that okay. I that I don't searched, that I don't searched, and I asked myself. Um, <laughs> Oh, Why they have written such embarrassing stuff? stuff? I don't understand it really. Yeah. Why they have read? Why they have written such stuff? Okay. So and then I had, and then I had searched for many more things, and I have um, a question which is important. Hmm. You are a Christian. Yeah. Which one of the Christians is the truth one? Because of the Catholics. Hmm. They are praying um, also to Maria hmm. and statues, statues and things like that. Hmm. They are uh, like um, the old Jews who have celebrated a cow and things like that. And hmm. which one of the Christians are the right Christians? I don't understand that. Hmm. Okay. We can I answer you now? Yes. Well, you know, there's That's not... There's nothing is called which one of them is right and which one of them is wrong. The one is right is right. Doesn't matter which which one. Which mean uh, if a church teaching something against the Bible, it is against the Bible, and that will make it wrong. But doesn't mean they make them wrong in everything. Uh, as an example, you mentioned that uh, Catholic they uh, pray uh, in front of a statues. That is absolutely wrong. But but the Catholic don't pray to Mary. That's not true. 
You see, when the uh, when the when, no, when the Catholic the, the Rosary is not praying to Mary, the Rosary is asking Mary to pray for them. So this is not uh, accurate. You know, when people they say that to you, they are not being truthful. Uh, same time, uh, if I do something wrong, still I am a Christian because this is what Christianity is exists for for. Because we are wrong, Jesus came, not because we are right. If everybody is right, then there is no need for Jesus to come. So Jesus, right, yeah. so Jesus did not come because we are right. Jesus came because all of us, we are wrong. So yes. if somebody is doing a wrong practice, that does not make Christianity wrong. That make the practice right. wrong. You know, it, this, it, feels, it seems to me like uh, some of the Christians are believing wrong. Well, you know, when you practice something wrong, obviously you believe in it, right? But that at the end of the day, uh, the one who is doing that wrong, is he doing something really, I mean, let us say, he believe in Jesus as God, he believe in the crucifixion, he believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This is Christianity. The rest, yes. the rest is it mostly is a tradition. It's not really a belief. Because we don't find a base for it in any book, you know. Even the Bible says, okay. don't make images for what is up in heaven or down in yes. earth. Okay, so the Bible forbid us from even making images for the purpose of worship. So if somebody make those images for the purpose of worship, that is absolutely wrong. So this is his yes. wrong. This is not Christianity being wrong. But doesn't mean that those people, they are not Christians. No, they are. But they practice something wrong. And there is not a single person in this earth don't practice something wrong. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. Because this is our nature. But, but we are wrong. Where I, but, but in the but same time, how, but in, in the same time, hold how on. I can know which is right? Very easy. The Bible is there. Whatever Jesus said is what is right. Very easy. You know, even and which it, one I can. But there's, there's nothing. You, is, there's nothing. It's called which one. There's nothing. It's called which one. The if, Bible is the Bible. There's nothing. It's which one. We have many translations. Yes. But the Bible is one yes. book. It, the translation but can be different. But you have to have a community. You you know what I mean? No. Which community is the right one? No, my community is Jesus, not the community. The community needs Jesus, not Jesus needs the community. So if you follow, you follow Jesus, you don't follow a community. We are not a tradition. We are not a tribe. We are not a, a corporation. We are not an organization. All of us, we belong to one Lord. His name is the Messiah. So if you are looking for community, you are wrong, because all community in the world are wrong. This is why we have sin everywhere. This is why we have crimes everywhere. So uh, you, will, you will find even a priest is a child molester like Muhammad, correct? Okay. Yes. So how he can be a priest and a child molester? Because simply uh, Satan is exist everywhere. The Lord, he says, be aware of false teacher. They will come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. So always those who they are trying to make you go in the wrong, they dress as sheep. They don't come to you usually as a wolf because if they come to you as a wolf, you will shoot them, right? So what they will do, they will dress as a sheep, so you will think they are a sheep, then you trust them, and then you enter the, they make them enter your house. So yes. you, as a, as a person who is asking questions, you do not need to trust Christian Prince in order to know Christianity. You need to trust only one person. His name is Jesus. Because who said that me, myself, I'm not a sinner? But how can I ask? I don't get an answer. No, you don't. And the problem with no. uh, the problem with my ding believing system, I uh, I have think uh, a lot of them for the last days, and I thought since I was a kid, I have learned everything I know from my grandmother, from my grandmother, from my granddad, and then uh, from from imams in mosques and stuff like that. But they never showed me such stuff, and then I. Uh, I, I I don't want to believe in it. Mm. And I saw more and more and more. And then I asked myself, why they are not um, showing that to me? I thought uh, till the day to the, till since a few, for a week ago, I thought my believing way is right because I am don't, uh, not a liar. I am follow things straight on the things that I know. But did this uh, things, I don't know any anything about it. And then I have seen it and I asked myself, why never uh, imam, imam have showed me them or stuff like that. Mm. So you know, Muhammad, you know, are you telling me you are thinking to leave Islam? 
I don't know, really, I don't know. But I, but I, there's an emotion in me, and it says to me, maybe it's fault. Maybe. Okay. How how maybe I how I, how I can help you to confirm that it is not maybe it is for sure called. Let me ask you. I don't know. Okay. I don't know how you can help me. Okay. I want to. I want Hammer, this only to know from you because of um, this, because many of the Dean Christians are worshiping statues and things like that. No, no, no. There's and not, I ask there's myself. Not a single, no, no, uh, Muhammad. There is not a single Christian, even the Catholic. I, I know. I know one thing for real. I know only worship. one thing for real, hmm. Christian. Mm -hmm. I know. I know only one thing for hmm. real mm -hmm. that Jesus, Isa is more um I, I don't want to say holy or stuff like that but he don't lived he lived a life without sin with miracles no war never killed a person never do a sin mm -hmm. and i i think he's a good person mm -hmm. who can um, that um, to follow is right to mm -hmm. follow such a person, it was uh, very right. It was nothing wrong with that. Okay, sure. That's um, what I know for sure. That's only the ones I know for sure is that. Okay. But you see, you have a wrong information about Christians. I just told you that people they do wrong doesn't mean they are worshipping statues. If somebody, let us say, somebody praying in front of a picture, if he believe that this, that picture is God, then he is worshipping that picture. You know what I mean? If he pray in front of a statue, let us say, and he believe that a statue is God, then that make him for sure a pagan and he have nothing to do with Christianity. But if somebody, I'm not trying to defend them, by the way, I believe this is all wrong, but I'm explaining to you why they do. Not because they believe that is God, they, they feel, you know, so some people, they, they carry something from previous, uh, you know, many they converted to Christianity and they carry from them from the previous pagan practice, some pagan practice. So we do not need the statues, and the statues have nothing to do with God. This is Christianity. But as a as long a person who don't believe that the statue is God, that does not make him really worshiping a statues because he is not praying to the statues really because he knows that this is just a statues. You hit it by a hammer, you can break it. If but if you say this, then then you you why are you talking um, negative uh, about the Kaaba? Oh, this is different because Jesus never said to us to do why me. this is different. Hold on, it's different because Muhammad is the one who was kissing the black stone. So, if Jesus was praying in front of his statues, then I would say I cannot blame the Christians who do wrong, you know, practice because it's Jesus who told them, but Jesus never said that, right? But Muhammad is the one who kissed the black stone, correct? Yes, but he don't know the stone is God. Doesn't matter. You see, he is kissing it. Actually, this is more even more ugly because there is no reason uh, a, a person who somebody make a status as say for Mary and he's asking Mary to pray for him. He's not even praying to to, uh, to Mary. He's asking Mary to pray for him. Uh, that is, you know, this is very wrong and have nothing to do with the Christianity. But he is not following God by practicing that. But when a Muhammad he do kiss the stone. And there's no explanation. You ask all Muslims, why, why Muhammad is a stone? Can you tell me? Because the people um, earlier days have done it. No. So you follow people. You are a prophet of God. You, you brought monotheism. The people before, they did that because they are pagan Arab, supposedly. And now, supposedly, you are a but person the Christianity, who... But, but the Christianity has, have also took um, some things from the old, uh, from their old days, from the previous days. Like what? And took the stamp of Christianity on it. Like what? Like, um, like um, how they call it in Christianity, with water to put a man down in water and then he is a Christian. Baptism, right? Baptism, yes. No. We see, we, that we, we that was not... a written before Christianity. Where? That was there. Was written where? That was before Christianity. Okay, where, where? 
You can read it too. You are okay. you are well friend, known with this you topic. Know, you know it. No, I you know. I see. Uh, obviously, you do not know what Christianity is. Christianity is not when Jesus came. Christianity is from the time of Adam, because all the purpose of mankind is to believe in Jesus. So all mankind they are waiting for Christ to come, and Christ He came. So Christianity is exists from the beginning. So if Adam was a person who spoke to God and God spoke to him. Then God, he gave Adam rules. And those rules, you know, we don't have full details of them, but we have a simple story about God told him not to do that, which is supposed to eat him from the tree. But I believe the story is more complicated than just a tree, because you know, do you think really God, he cared for a tree? No. God, he cared no. for being obedient or not. So Adam, he disobeyed. So obviously God, he gave Adam order. And then Adam, when he came to this earth, he told his children about God. They don't. They are not ignorant. So knowing the true God is exists from the first man, not by when when Jesus came as a human. Yes. From the first man, they knew about God, and God gave them rules, and God gave them knowledge, and God told them, and God sent messengers, and all those messengers is to prepare for Jesus. So for you, you might think, okay, or well, the baptism is must be you know. If if we read the Bible, actually, you will see that John the Baptist. That's why they call him John the Baptist, right? Jesus never wanted someone to baptize other peoples. No, he never he, he, wanted stuff no, like that. No, no, no. He himself he got baptized. Don't they say things without knowledge. So Jesus himself, that, he got, uh, Jesus, Jesus himself, as the, as the baptized himself, uh, only stands stands in the thing uh, in the in the thing. How they call it? Um, bribe letter. Which letter is the one? What is that? I, I have. I understand. I, I have. I don't understand what you're huh? saying. What letter? I have read a lot of about that and watched a, a lot of videos uh, about uh, that. Uh, uh, and uh, Jesus uh, himself Muhammad, doesn't Muhammad. want it as anybody else to, to baptize people. When somebody says to you something, give it to me to show you that this is false. This is not true. You, you know, the Bible says, go and teach and uh, in the Hebrew and letter, baptism, in the Hebrew in letter. baptism in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Now, listen. In the Hebrew letter. In the no. Hebrew letter, it oh, says... No, uh, no. The, in the Hebrew letters, all the disciples of Jesus, they speak about baptism, baptism, baptism. If we go right now to the to any website have the bible translation just type the word baptism you will see it all over so this is a false yes, argument yeah. the disciples have uh, baptized but not himself what do you mean he's not himself not he said not by himself he do, he doesn't this, baptize this is why, people this is why he no he you know he did simply you see uh, you see the baptism he, he did oh, it oh, he did on. it but not with water he did it with, with what not with water with what with Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, but the, the, the the baptism is the Holy Spirit baptism. The water is symbolic how you are washing yourself from previous belief, pagan belief. For example, John has baptized with water, and Jesus has baptized with Holy Ghost, and his disciples have baptized it, with water okay, too. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, Jesus himself, when he got the, the baptism, is an additional, additional uh, let us say, a signal or a message. For those who they are following him, the disciple and everybody is watching, that he is the one people are watching for. This is why when the baptism happened, uh, a voice came from from heaven saying, uh, "This is my only begotten Son." Right. So this is this is this is just not this is not a baptism really, as much as a confirmation that this is the Messiah. People they are waiting for. Same time, Jesus himself, when he did baptize, he's saying us that you need to be baptized too, as to be a newborn again, which means you as a person who has became a following Christ, in order to receive the Holy Spirit, you know, you have mm -hmm. to do baptism. And the baptism is not about the water. The baptism is about yes. you confirming, announcing yourself as a Christian. And by doing that and washing all your pre pre you know, previous uh, uh, belief, that will make you a new person. This is why we Christians, we believe in you, like a born again. And I'm sure you heard it uh, many times from Christians. Yeah. Born again yes. Christian. Born again Christian is not a Protestant, is not a Catholic, is not Orthodox, is anyone who accepts Jesus as his Savior, and he decides to start a new life. Because you are born as a baby, maybe from a Muslim family like you, maybe from doesn't a Christian need family. Water or something yeah, like but that. Does, but doesn't you, make... you have only to say it. No, 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 you see, you, no, 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 you see, you, you know, this is your opinion, but I can show you an example that it's not what make you save is the baptism by the water. As an example, uh, when there is, was a person next to Jesus in the cross, 
Yes. And then he said he believed in Jesus, and Jesus he promised him to go to heaven. This guy he did not yes, do baptism. Yes, I know this. I have read okay. this. Okay, okay. This this guy he did not get baptism. This guy he did not yes. go in the water. He just said, "I believe in you." Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. But mm -hmm. this is for a person who have no choice to be baptized. This person is dying yes. in the cross. So when we say yes. baptism is necessarily baptism is because Jesus he told us that you announce yourself the one who deny me I deny him this is what Jesus said the one who deny me yeah. okay I deny him so yes. the baptism yes. is like announcement that I don't deny Jesus and I'm willing to take the risk even if he kill me I'm not going to say Jesus is not my God so by by yes. by doing such an act you are receiving the gift of God that you became his child but doesn't mean that you cannot receive it let's say you live in Saudi Arabia and there is nobody to do baptism for you. So, mm -hmm. and you you accepted Jesus. And I have many of them, tons of them who accepted Jesus. And they live in Islamic countries. And there's nobody there to baptize them. What, that they will die and they are not believers? No, they will die as a believers. But if you get a chance to be baptized, then you should do, do the baptism. And the baptism is, uh, 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 let us say, is an act of worship to Christ too. Why? Because... Uh, uh, when I, when when I say I am I am a Christian, and uh, a Christian mean uh, following Christ, correct? Yes. Okay. Christ Himself get baptized. So should I baptize too? Absolutely. Christ He baptized to confirm to us that He is the Christ, which He is, which the whole world is waiting for Him. And even the one who baptized Him, He announced that. And even the, the, the heaven and John's that. Yeah. John has baptized him. Yes. yes, yes. But as you see, John, before Christ, as you said, he was baptizing. This is why he's called John the Baptist, the, 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 you know, the Baptist. So, uh, yeah. but doesn't mean that John, he was a pagan. John is a, a person, he's a great prophet of God, the same God, right? So, uh, uh, when, when somebody to, uh, say to you that baptism is something, uh, you know, is is kind of a tradition, is a etc. You can they can say that as they wish, but for us, it's something more than a, a tradition. Is something spiritual. It is something unique. It is something I believe is beautiful too, because you know there is a there is a point in life when you change direction, and that point is a is going to be a point of history for you. Maybe it means nothing for somebody else, but for you, yes. it's a point of history. Your life change. And this is exactly what the baptism is. You know, you switch. But you, do, you don't have to. I understand it, right? It's, but you it's don't, not, doesn't Muhammad, have Muhammad, need Muhammad, to. Muhammad, it's not up to you to say you don't have to, you have to, you know, it's not up to you. If you want to follow Christianity, yes. this is what Jesus did. And so you do what Jesus did. If you don't, if you don't accept, then you don't have to be a Christian too. It's not up to you to decide what is, what is a Christianity or is not. I, I just gave you an example of a man who was dying in the cross next to Jesus. He was saved without being baptized, but he was in the cross. So if your scenario is the same as that person and you believe in Jesus, you are saved. Okay. So now if you are a person who believe in Jesus and you have a chance to baptize, give me a reason why not to do it. If Jesus did it, mm -hmm. Jesus, he fast. Well, do God need to fast? No, but he fast. So we no. fast. So that means fasting is something good. Fasting is something very, very unique. Fasting is you fighting your temptation, your, your, you know, your, uh, uh, all the things around you. So Jesus Himself, He fast. So for sure, you cannot fast like Him. You know, you cannot fast for forty days without food and water. Nobody can do that. But you can yeah. fast still, and you can practice a human being fasting, a normal human being fasting. So you can fight your struggle. But it's not fasting will save you. Fasting yes. will help you to be saved from temptation and etc. Control yourself. It's a it's a it's a training of self control. Same time, it's you uh, 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 like uh, refusing everything around you to disturb you from being with God. So everything have a reason, and if you don't want to accept those reasons, then don't accept Christianity. You know, we are not the same as Muslims. They practice hypocrisy. When they want, it's okay. When they want, it's not okay. As an example, yes, sir, no. uh, you know, uh, for, know, know, for location is haram, right? But then we, they would do muta. 
right? Mm -hmm. Or we do the wajal monsieur, or we do the wajal friend, you know, marry a friend, you know, you go one night in the hotel once a week or twice a, a, a month, and that's a post his marriage. So, you know, the, the, the Islam is a religion of tricks, not religion really of rules. Because all the rules Why have, they, have a trick. Uh, th that's my question. Can you give me an answer of that? Why they never told, uh, for example, to me, stuff like that? Why I have to read it by myself? I have learned it by imams and sheikhs since I was a kid, since I was five or four years old. And never someone t showed me so stuff like that. Never. I have learned it all by heart. I can re recite everything by heart, but I don't know about the other things. Why they have never? Okay, I, I, why I will they tell never you, show something uh, like that? I will why? tell you a problem you have. Uh, uh, I have lost. Maybe I have lost 30 years of my life. Maybe. Yeah, Sheikh Ahmed uh, Muhammad. You, you last time when you when Abbas was talking, <laughs> you recite for us some uh, chapters, correct, by heart. Yes. Okay, one of them is about magic. Is it? Magic? Yeah. Which one you, you recited? You mean uh, Nas? Yeah. Close up in Nas? Uh -huh. You mean this? Okay, can you say this chapter for us? Close up in Nas, Malik in Nas, Ila in Nas, Min Sharin Fas Fasil Han Nas, Ela Zi US Fis of his Sudur in Nas, Min Al Jinnatif and Nas. What does that mean? Nothing. Stupid. As they, stupid Quran. As they told it to me, I have to um, pray this one and uh, Falak. Hmm. When I go to sleep and no, no, no. Someone, I'm asking you now what, what does mean? I, no, this is this is another question. What does that mean? Silly, stupid. I mean, how you spend thirty years and you do not ask yourself how stupid this is? is? They have um, teached me w in which situations I have to pray this. They have teached uh, me. This. Okay, no problem. But this is stupid. You know, who is the, what is Waswas and what is Khannas? This is just very stupid. This is silly. And then he says, uh, 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 among the genie, what is the, what is that? You know, so you will find that this is just, just empty words, have nothing, you know, Muhammad is trying to make a rap song, which is very silly. And it's not even to, to be made for kids. So, you know, when you recite it, you say, Qul a'udhu bi rabbi nasi, malikin nasi, ilahi nasi. What is that, malikin nasi? All right, I hope, uh, let us see, you guys, you hear me now? Am I heard now? All right, I apologize what we can do. We lost our internet and uh, our conversation totally lost. I had to restart my uh, modem to make it work. Uh, we will try to contact Mr. Muhammad again. Uh, give me a second, please. Please invite your friends here. We go like you know. We lost uh, a thousand people, but just because we our connection is gone for a few seconds. All right, I see his. Uh... Okay, look like he is not there right now. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, your your connection is there. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I did recite the chapter. You know, uh, uh, seek refuge by Allah from the waswas, and the internet came back. <laughs> So, I thought maybe that's a sign or something like that. Uh huh, a sign. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Really, this can be a big problem for me, you know. Uh, this look, can be a problem. So you for are me. A, you are a superstition person. Like what? Well, you know, you said you are. It's a sign for you. What is the sign that we lost our internet? I don't know. Maybe uh, to cut. Maybe to cut you. I don't know. But he could not cut me. Here we go. I'm. I'm back. I know. So do you think this God Allah? Know, this can be okay, okay. I, I, I will go with you, Mister Mister Problem. 
So you think that now Allah he lost the fight because I restarted my moda? No. Yeah, this would happen. I just restarted my moda, and everything is fine. I said to you, start you restart your modem. I said it to you. I know, I know. But if Allah is the one who cut me off, well, I just cut off Allah because based on your sure saying, Allah is trying to cut me off, and I now I respond to Allah by cutting him off by re, by restarting the modem. Yes. Why Allah make me, uh, you know, uh, uh, win and he lose then? And I'm getting him busted for tens of years. I mean, that's not 10, not 20 more. So uh, this is how Allah, he make war now. He cut my modem. Is Allah the one who made the internet? Okay, I will go with you. Muhammad, he recite this verse, right? Yes. Okay, and then Muhammad, he recite other verse about, uh, about magic. Correct? Yes. Okay. Did Muhammad was controlled by magic? I read something like that. What do you mean uh, you read? I think you, for you, three days ago I have read something like that. Hmm. He was on magic for forty days. Some okay. Stuff like so that. obviously Allah is a is a false god because here we go. Muhammad he said to you, if you recite this chapter, which is made supposedly to fight magic, black magic, you will not have magic. Muhammad he says, if you eat seven ajwa, no magic can affect you and no poison can kill you, and he have both. Yes. Okay, so now uh, Muhammad. Is, yes. So now Muhammad was he reciting the Quran? Yes. Every day, correct? Yes. Okay, so every day reciting the Quran did not protect him from black magic. So the yes. Quran cannot stop anything. Allah cannot stop anything. Last In time I case, spoke. Yes. Last time I spoke to a Muslim Sheikh, he said it took Allah twelve months to release Muhammad from the magic. I, I said, why? He said, because Allah, he made for him, uh, sorry, shaitan, he made for him, or the magic, was made in 12 knots. So now you are a person who believe that I can make a knot hmm, for you, and now I can control you from far distance, correct? Yes. Okay. How, how what, do you, what do you think? Is that smart or something stupid? This is way more than this. What more than more this? What? I can't say this is smart or stupid or stuff like that because this is real magic and okay, this is why really... Muslim, okay, why? So, okay, hold on. Why people don't control those leaders in the world? I mean, if you can control somebody by a knot, uh, can I control them? Uh, so we can control people then by a knot. So your prophet is a voodoo person. He's a pagan because voodoo is a paganism. You are the one we're talking about paganism and doing not something not having to do with God. So when you do so such a thing, such a practice, obviously you are pagan. Uh, and when Muhammad he says, you, if you read this chapter, then nobody can make a knot for you. So why? How come the, the Jewish guy he made a knot for Muhammad and he controlled him? And always they blame the Jews for anything. I don't know why. No, because obviously this is fiction. This is lie. This guy is a mental ill. He blame everything for the Jews, so he you know he he he's a crazy. So they say he he was bewitched. As simple as that. Who was going? I think who, who does he have diseases? I have to tell it to you from our first uh, talk. Yeah, th this is not a disease. This is uh, can, this the disease is something. And can, because he have sex with uh, yeah, one hundred uh, uh, women. That is a sexual disease. But here we are talking about mental illness. But so it makes you crazy in the head too. I don't know if that will happen from a sexual friend. disease. I am not expert with sexual diseases. So, my friend, what we, what confirmed to us that Muhammad was, according to Muslims, not according to us, he was bewitched, correct? Yes. Okay. So, the man who saw it said to you, if you read Quran, Shaitan cannot bewitch you. How come the Quran did not work with him and he is the one supposedly protected by his God? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So, he's a, he's a fraud. And not only that, as long as Muslims agree that Muhammad was deceived, that you see the, the title of our video is uh, who is the one is deceived, Christians or Muslims? The story yeah. in front of us proved that Muhammad was deceived because when you control somebody by a black magic, the Muslim believe in black magic, that means he was deceived because what black magic mean, 
you are not in control of what you do and you do wrong things so he was deceived <coughs> according to no muslims like not according to me so how the one is under under the black magic he is deceived how he can be the one i trust to guide me yeah hmm yeah so Muhammad is false if you if you come to me with a saying a prayer like this will save you and then you yourself you are under the influence of what you taught me I can be saved from that's mean you are not even praying so there's one of two solution either Muhammad he never read Quran he was a false person because the Quran protect him if he is reading it or Muhammad was reading the Quran and the Quran is a false book and that's why he wasn't protected from the black magic. Correct? <clears throat> My mind is flipping around. Well, Muhammad, he said, as an example, Muhammad is a doctor too, and Allah told him medicine. The Muslim, they call it the prophet medicine, Allah medicine. Muhammad, he said, he who eat seven ajwa, seven date fruit, every morning will not be affected and by poison and magic okay but muhammad yes, he had both i know this muhammad he died by poison and he was infected by magic okay so how i how, know so his, quran, his so his quran is not working his ajwa is not working and he is a false teacher everything happened is against you know uh, actually is against his own teachings hmm Somebody saying in the chat, Christian Prince, uh, uh, I, I got you wrong, for, sorry. He said Ju Jesus could not be even tempted. That's true. You see, the Muslims sometimes they go and they say that Satan, when he come to Jesus, he tempt Jesus. Tempt is an act, but are you tempted? So Jesus, he never been <laughs> under the influence of the temptation. Here you see Muhammad, according to the Muslims, and this is his wife saying, that the prophet, he is imagining things, and in fact, he did not. Why? Because he was bewitched. But who will believe in this? If we believe in it, it's a disaster. If we don't believe in it, it's more funny. Because if Muhammad really was, was bewitched by black magic, then he is satanic messenger. Because as long as shaitan is controlling me, I am, a, then I will be a messenger for shaitan. So Muhammad was speaking for more, according to Muslim, this has happened for a year. So for one yes. year of the life of Muhammad, how many verses came from Shaitan? And how a messenger of God, he was under the control of Shaitan all this time and Allah did not do anything about it. And where is the Quran to protect him? So what do you think? If I am you, I will leave Islam right away. You yourself, you say, there is no one like Jesus. You have no sin. And you know, the second you say that, you accepted him as God. Because every human being do sin. There is no human being, including me, including you. Including anyone. Every human being is a sinner, except Jesus. So Jesus, he came in the flesh as a human being, but in fact, he is God in the flesh. And this is why he have no sin. Otherwise, he should have sin like all of us. So yes. if, I, if I am you, if I am you, Sheikh Muhammad, I will accept Jesus right now as we speak, as Lord, as Savior. And obviously, Muhammad, he cannot save himself. Here we go, Shaitan controlling him, and he has no, no, you know, no solution for it. So, do you accept the Lord, the Messiah, as your Savior, Sheikh Muhammad? Uh, he hung up. <clears throat> he hung up. You don't want to say. A moment of a truth. <laughs> <coughs> 
Let us call him again. Okay, I'm not going to force you to say it. Maybe I, you know, maybe you were crying. I'm not sure. But whatever you want, my friend. If you feel like you want to come and call, just call me. We have a Muslim in the chat. He was saying he left me many messages and he want to debate me. What is your name, my friend, in Skype? So I can call you right away. Yeah, Muhammad is saying he have to think. He have to think. Yeah, think. The person he said, he sent me many messages and he wanted to debate me. What is your name, my friend? His name is Yubut, I don't know, uh, Time, Yubut Time, I don't know what does that name mean. What is your name in Skype? So I can call you immediately. Are you there? Where are you? So like what you, you know? You post that you want to contact me, you want to debate me, but when we call you out, you are not there. What happened? Fake news? Okay. Who is a Muslim is willing to call? We have a Muslim, he's sending me a long text. <clears throat> I have a challenge for you as a Christian to refute me. Okay, his name is Muslim Warrior. Let us call him. to be not a warrior at all he fly uh, but just to show you how stupid sometimes what Muslim they say to us I find it very funny and very very dummy this guy is saying the problem with the Christianity there is no Sharia my friend it's you who don't have a Sharia Sharia I mean a law God he gave Moses a written law by his hand you don't have it by his hand your God, he gave you a law, and the law says you can go and do muta. This is Sharia. Your God, he gave you a law. It says if you have a daughter from a daughter, you can sleep with her. This is a law. Your God, he gave you a law saying that you can divorce women by text messages. So all the rules you are talking about is the rules of the devil. This is not God. See, they, they think they are supreme. The land of deception, the land of corruption, the land of killing, all the caliphate of the Muslims killed by Muslims. Why? Because they are corrupt. Muhammad, he go to his son's house when the wife is alone. What he did? He flirted with her. Is that, the, is that the one who made the Sharia law for you? Is that what Sharia teach you? You go to the house of a person. He is your son. Even if he is just a friend for the sake of argument. What kind of a man, he go to the house of a friend and he flirt with his wife and later he take her. So Muslim, they lie to themselves, believing somehow that they have Allah. Now the person, he said, he sent me many messages. I asked you many times, what is your name in Skype? Stop saying I send you many messages. I have thousands of people, send me a message now. Send me a message now and tell me what's your name. 
who is a Muslim is willing to call us, especially if you think you can prove us wrong. As you see the hadith in front of us proving that Muhammad was deceived by the devil himself. Any Muslim? Hmm. Michael he is saying Prince many Christians and Muslims are both deceived because they believe in a false gospel well obviously Michael you are the one who have the true gospel don't you and you are hiding it this is an example of a stupidity when somebody he says something This is the impact of hashish. Prince, many Christians and Muslims are both deceived because they believe in a false gospel. Okay, do you have the real gospel? You are exactly like Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, uh, I am the one who have the truth, okay, and I confirm what is the, the truth in the Bible. Okay, what is the Bible you confirm? Which one? Do you have it in your hand? He said, I confirm what is with you. Stupidity is amazing. He's reinstalling Skype, so he don't have a Skype. So he was how was texting me. Use what? Magical text. Uh, your name is Aisha. The one is trying to Aisha. Hello. <coughs> Uh, hi, Christian Prince. Hello. Sorry, I thought you are a man calling himself Aisha. Was that was funny? <laughs> uh, no, uh, actually, yeah. So I uh, know I have been watching your videos from so long. Like okay. I learned so much from you. Uh, you are doing a great work. But before that, I just wanted, uh, like, I, in one video, I remember I have seen some references showing that uh, the beautiful woman used to go to Muhammad's tent. Like that, there was can, something. Can, you, can you speak slower? Because I, with my respect to you, your Indian accent is very little bit hard for me to understand when you speak fast. Okay. <clears throat> no, uh, in one of the your earlier videos, in some video I have watched that uh, Muhammad, uh, sorry, beautiful girl used to go to Muhammad's tent like that. Uh, there was one video which I have watched, but I don't remember the reference where you have shown me. Uh, I mean, you have shown in that video. Is uh, that clear? What a woman, he Muhammad, he used to go to, she is beautiful. Uh, no, no, like if they are going for any war and all, like this best booty, one fifth of the booty, all these things, yes, I oh. read even in the book. So, like I have watched <laughs> hundreds of videos. Uh, so, but in one video, you have shown like the most beautiful girl used to go to Muhammad's tent, like that. There was one video which I heard. Well, I don't uh, but know. I was I, you know, I'm trying to understand what is your request, to be honest. Like, I, I have difficulty. Uh, in one video, I show a Muslim, a woman, they go to Muhammad? Uh, no, uh, like if they are going to win the war, the, in that crowd... Go, go, go to what? To win? War, war. They used to go to wars, right? Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Are you talking about when I, Muhammad, he says, go and attack the Roman to get the blonde girls? Yeah. Uh, and no, somewhere you have shown like the most beautiful girl used to go to Muhammad's tent, which means that <laughs> that best part of the booty he used to take it kind of. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So, sure. Like, you know, Sophia, as an example, Sophia, uh, you know, when Muhammad, he, he killed her family, first he gave her to Dahya al Kalbi. So, and then they told him that she is so beautiful. Why you give her to Dahya? So, uh, uh, Muhammad, he, he told uh, Dahya to. Uh, take four and give him Sophia, as you see here in the screen, you know. So, Sophia was given to the Hel Kalbi, and then, which means the Hel Kalbi, he, you know, he have her first to stay with her. And then Muhammad, when he heard the news that she is so beautiful, uh, Muhammad, he told him, go and take four and give me uh, 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 Sophia. Because she is very beautiful. She is the, she is the most beautiful girl in the tribe. Uh, sir, are you showing the reference now? 
I'm just not in front of the laptop. I'll just check it. Just, just, just few seconds. Yeah, this is Sahir Bukhari. This is Sahir Bukhari, and there's tons of references. Not only this, you know, like this is this is ton. Uh, Uh, just a second, just a second. And like in this hadith here, it says he exchanged with seven heads, not four. The the Prophet S A W bought Safiya for seven slaves. From who? From Dahya. So Dahya he took her as a part of the booty. Muhammad he heard that she is the most beautiful girl. So Muhammad he exchanged her for seven slaves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so are you are you an ex-Muslim uh, Aisha? Ah uh, yeah, I hmm. left it. I left it long back. Okay. I have watched so many of your videos. So how, why why you left Islam? I know. I just I have watched hundreds of videos, maybe yours videos and uh, David Wood's video, and okay. you, and I have read two two three times of complete book. Like anyway, within uh, by the time I started reading the Quran, within a, within one week, I felt like okay, there is so much. Uh, like I was not able to accept it, kind of. But anyway, it was good that I have started reading it. All right. Well, feel free to I, to read my books. You know, you will you will uh, you will educate yourself a lot. Also, but I don't know. I uh, I waited till some twenty five days like that. But uh, still, it was. I mean, I, it didn't get delivered. I remember your books. I I have ordered also, hmm. Deception of Allah. But I don't know why they have cancelled. I have ordered in Amazon. Okay, so now we are showing you the reference. Anything else? Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I have one friend also now with me. Uh, like he constantly what he says is uh, like I used to show you like I used to show him that uh, about your videos and some okay. of the David Woods videos also and I used to show him right in front of the eyes also like a uh, uh, few of the references which I have uh, taken a note in the Quran but what he constantly says is uh, 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 means uh, uh, like okay, whatever it is there, but I am not following all those things. So I'm not doing any harm, or I'm not going to kill any. I'm not give, killing any Christians, or I'm not doing anything wrong from my side. So how how is it to me? Like you got what I mean? Yeah, but you know, if you don't do anything bad, as he said, doesn't make any difference because still he is following the one who told him to do something bad. So he's decided not to do what Muhammad told him. And somebody in the text is saying to me, maybe you are asking about if Muhammad, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her, correct? Is that the one you are asking for? Yeah. Okay, well, I have the reference in the front of me, but it's in Arabic. I can send you the link in Arabic, and this is from the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And you can use Google Translation, you know, I will post the link in the chat. Everybody can go and read and just you don't need to know Arabic actually use Google translation Which is not Christian Prince translation. It's just automatic and you will see it says that if his eyes fall into a woman Her husband must divorce her so the prophet he can have her he can sleep with her. So what kind of a prophet? I have a... Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, this one I have watched in multiple videos. Yeah, even I have downloaded a few yeah. of the videos also. So this what, one why I Muhammad is a person? Didn't... Muhammad is coming to serve God and he is a servant of God. And now he want your wife, if you are a man, and if his eyes fail into her and he like her, you have to divorce her. What is that? What kind of a privilege? And, and they are counting his privilege. And you will see most of them is about sex. All cult leaders, they share one thing. Sex and money. Uh, All of them. They want so, their follow the followers, the women to, to sleep with them, and they want the money of the followers. Sir, so, and I was going through one more reference. Like I think yesterday or day before, you have said this 1831, where they will be uh, wearing these uh, gold uh, bracelets and uh, green garments with silk. All these things. It was there, right? In 1831. So I was just showing it to my friend. But what he is saying is, um, like that's okay. What's wrong with that? If you want to take all those things, you can take. If you don't want to take it, okay, you can. Uh, whatever you want, you will. You can take it, kind of. So that was uh, like that was his response. Uh, you got what I mean? Well, you know, this is this is uh, this is very silly. You know, we are not kids; we are adult, and it's up to you. You take it, you don't take it. You know, this is not about. You see, we're talking here. We are questioning about the prophet himself. This is not about 
okay, Islam allow you to eat ice cream, you like to eat it, you don't eat it, who care? This is not the topic. The topic is, if, the, if Muhammad is a prophet, he came to fix the society. But a message from God, how he is fixing the society by corrupting the society, how he fix a society by taking a woman, she is married to somebody else. How we fix society by going and flirting with the wife, she is in the house of her husband. How we fix society by having sex with the children. How we have success, you know, fix society by kidnapping women from their husbands. How we allow even men to rape women who they knew they're, they are their cousins. They are their families. They are just because they took the other side. They do not want to believe in Islam. Go and kill them, attack them. And now we took the women. So he made a chapter saying, it's forbidden for you women already married, except, except what? Except women you kidnap from their husbands. You know their husbands. You know their family. They are your neighbors or your cousins. And yet it's okay to kill the husband and to take the wife and to rape her, even if she is married. So. If Muhammad came to fix the society, is the most Islamic society now is fixed? Go and see. It is the most corrupt society ever. The police is corrupt. The judge is corrupt. The king is corrupt. The prince is corrupt. The sheikh is corrupt. You can't even let your, you know, in Yemen, they, they make the children wear a chastity belt because if they send them in, this, in the street, they will be raped. So they send the child in order to be safe. They put a chastity belt around his waist or her waist. Even if it's a boy, it doesn't matter. Actually, they like boys more. So they, they, they put a chastity belt around the kid and they put him they put him in the street. The whole country in Yemen is taking hashish. Afghanistan, almost 97% of Afghani people, they practice hashish and drugs. So where is the fixed society? You know, Bachabazi, Bachabazi boy, go watch videos. Taliban, the leaders of the most religious Muslims in the, in the world, they bring a kid, a boy, they put makeup in his face, and they made him make him dance for them. And after that, the leader, he will sleep with the boy. So Islam is fixing society in which way, which mean. So when they say, and, and by the way, they are following the steps of Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, if Osama was a girl, I would dress him. And he was licking his face. So, uh, uh, so, so this is a very evil cult. Show that reference. Could you please show it once again, please? Oh, sorry again. Uh, could you please show that reference once again? I mean, well, if it was... what, what difference? This is not a difference. This is this is this is this is how corrupt, you know, hypocrite they are. This is not about different. If I am a person who believe that Islam is a lifestyle, and then this lifestyle says I can cheat in my wife, I can lie to my wife. The husband can lie to his wife. The wife can lie to her husband. What, what kind of a what kind of a society the society is? And the Muslim the, ex, the excuse is okay. If your wife she is not beautiful and she said to you, "Am I beautiful?" What you will say to her? You're ugly. You lie to her. My friend, lying is lying. I mean, if you don't, if you think she is not beautiful, why you marry her? This is stupid. This is a false excuse. So uh, 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 a Muslim woman she converted to Islam after she married a Muslim man. And then she sent, an, uh, the, it's in the internet. She's asking, my husband, he is a Jordanian, he went to Jordan, and he did lie to me. He, he, no, he told me he is not married to any woman. I found that he is married. The sheikh, he answered, he said, first, you have no right to ask him such a question. Secondly, he had the right to, to lie to you. He had the right to lie to you about his marriage, second marriage. So if Islam fixing society, well, you cannot fix society by lies and liars and cheaters. A man lying to his wife and a wife lying to her, to her husband. So in order to please her. So I lied to her in order to please her. And she lied to me in order to please me. So she asked him, did you cheat? She said, no, because if I say yes, I will not please the, 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 the spouse. So what kind of cult this cult is? In the same time with Jesus, it's forbid us from lying. Either even oath is, is, is forbidden. Either you say yeah, yeah, or nay, nay, which means either you say yes, I did it, or you say no, I did not. Oath usually is for the liar. That you know, the person who would try to take an oath is somebody he lie all day long, and now he because he is supposedly now he is sincere, he will take an oath. That is a lifestyle of of liars. So Jesus don't take oath. Muhammad he keep taking oath. And even the Quran in chapter of At-Tahreem, verse number two, you will see Allah, he released Muhammad from his oath. Why? He made an oath to his wives that he will not sleep with Mary the Copt. Second day, he got horny. He, he told them, Allah, he released me from my oath. How you take an oath and Allah, he released you from your oath? 
So this man, he create religion as he wish, depend in his sexual desire. He don't have God. His God is what is between his legs. That is the truth. Sir, actually, I have a I have one friend with me who is a Muslim still. Like okay. we are have been discussing about these things from like so long, maybe more than one year. And I have shown few of the videos, but he is not like uh, like it's, it's difficult to accept it, kind of right. Well, he can talk to me if you want. Give him my Skype, or he can invite him. He can join us. No, I have shown like just few days back we were discussing about this. Uh, uh, what is that? Going to his son's, uh, uh, sorry, son's home, and this 66 uh, sleeping with his maid, uh, this one, and Aisha's marriage, all these things. Like still, how uh, like he's feeling like maybe this is still correct, and how this is from God. Uh, like I don't have any idea. Um, could you please show like something else more worse than these things in in Quran's? Okay, when, when uh, ask him when he say as long as he don't want to talk to me directly, when he say it, it is from God. What is from God? What is what is can be from God? What makes something from God and something is not from God? Like now we are showing you on the screen, Muhammad take an oath. Is it from God that I can lie to my wife, take an oath, and I don't want to follow it? Is that from God? And then this God, he says to me, don't need to follow your oath. What kind of God this God is? So if, if this is godly teaching, God is against taking his name in vain and using it to deceive people. So Muhammad, he took an oath to his wife saying, I'm not going to sleep with this girl. And then after that, he make a verse saying, Allah, he told me, don't keep your oath. What kind of religion this religion is? So after all what I said, he's asking you what's from God, what's not? A man, he sleep with his own son, wife, he take her, he sleep with her. He claimed that he is marrying her. When the woman, she asked him, what is the witnesses? He said, Allah and Jibreel. Well, I can sleep with any woman and Allah and Jibreel is watching. Since when in Islam, you can marry a woman without witnesses. So he created the rules and he's above the rules. So if Muhammad is a prophet, he follow Allah, then he have to be a Muslim. And a Muslim is a somebody, he follow the rules of Islam. But as you see, Muhammad, he have a rules above Muslims. I think she lost connection or her connection is weak. Let us take a Muslim. You can call me later. And I encourage you to ask the Muslim to call me, your friend. Let us call this Muslim. He said he want to call me. <clears throat> Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim, right? You said you want to debate me. Yeah, I'm a Muslim, you know. All right. Can you give me a second, please? Yeah. I want to turn on the fan. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right, my friend, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? What uh, how you doing, man? I'm fine. What makes Islam as a religion for you? What? Why you are a Muslim? Ah, it's just by heritage, you know, like you born as a Muslim, you know, from a Muslim country, you know. You have a bunch of kids around you. Can you like have a I son? know. I know my kid is around me here. So, All right. so OK, so, you know, you bought uh, to God and, uh, you know, but, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, I'm born from a Muslim country and then I'm an African, you know. OK, well, as yeah. long you are an African, well, as long you're yeah. an African. Do you think yeah. Muhammad is a person he like black people or he hate them? Yeah, to the, the history that they taught, they, they taught all about Islam, to me, Muhammad is a straightforward person and, and he love everybody. So it's like when you grow as a child, you know how we Muslims become Muslim at the age of young, as a child, seven years, you know? Hmm. Yeah, so, you know, when you tell you everything, you can't, you can you cannot say, oh, no, he's not, you know, you can't. You cannot say at that time he is not a good person. Seven years, I'm, I become Muslim. If I don't pray, I get they yeah, beat but me you are, up. But you are a Muslim right now, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Muslim. Okay. So you're, when I grow, and you're an adult. I, I, yeah, I'm an adult now. I'm 37. Okay. So yeah. the, the question is, Muhammad was a good person. He liked black people, or he hate black people? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I said all the teaching that I I learned about Muhammad, he loved everybody. You know, that's what I know. So okay. when I came across your videos, I was shocked. And then, you know, so 
social media. I saw so many a lot of videos. So I was so shocked. I went ahead and then I, I bought two of your book, Volume 1 and the Sex and Allah. Mm -hmm. I started Volume 1. Okay. So that's why I wanted to call you. All right. Yeah. So these are the things that whatever you're saying about Islam, these are the things that we never know. Right. In, in, in Africa, in Africa, we don't know that at okay. all because we don't speak Arab. Okay. So when I read a book about you said uh, like Muhammad, one time they told him that somebody is so pious that you know this guy pray too much and I, I just I just read that in your book. Yeah. You know. So but they tell Muhammad about this guy and then to me if somebody tell me Muhammad is this, I'll be like oh he's gonna be really happy about this person. So but you said when the guy went to the mosque and Muhammad sent people, you know, to kill that man, I, I was like, I was looking for it everywhere. I couldn't find it. I'm like, come, I bought this book and I opened the book. I found it in your book, but where can I have the reference? So I'm like, okay. I got to ask CP, you know, because he's the one saying all these things. Because of you, you are a Christian, maybe you're not going to say anything good about Islam to my understanding. So I'm like, but I didn't find it in the Islamic book. Or maybe I don't speak Arab. Hmm. Well, you yeah, know, so uh, when, when you say I cannot find it, well, don't I have the reference in my book? The, the reference, that's what I'm saying, you know, maybe because I don't speak Arab. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes I go to Google to check everything. Like if I had you say something, I just watched Google to check everything. Because in Islam, we don't speak Arab. So you got to go to Islamic schoolers. You got to go to this, everybody, everybody. So, you know, for me, it's easy. I go to Google and search. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, because to me, Muhammad is holy. That's what they taught us about in Africa. He's holy. You know, Prophet Muhammad is this. I don't know if you know about Arab. I just memorized so many things like Qatam al Anbiya, what Imam al Musalli, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't even know the real meaning, but I know that when we die, that's what they said. When we die at the day of judgment, Muhammad is going to be the savior. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're going to ask Musa. I don't know if you heard about the history, but I can't see it anywhere. But they taught us over and over about this thing, like Katamul Ambiya, what Imamul Muslim and Muhammad, and so like at the day of the judgment, Muhammad is yeah, going to be the one. Yeah, this is this is because of uh, their wrong understanding. The word Khatim does not mean the last prophet. The Khatim means yeah. the one who agree with them. He's you know he put his seal. Okay. He confirmed. This is why the Quran keeps saying, and we okay. agree and uh, confirming the book is with them. So Muhammad yeah. Khatim, Khatim is a seal, not yes. but not a seal. Not, not he is the last prophet supposedly okay. he is okay. uh, uh, he is the one who confirmed the books came before him uh, mm -hmm. now uh, uh, when when uh, uh, when somebody says to you as an example the, the the reference you said to me where I can find him about Muhammad he is ordering to kill a man and the mm -hmm. Muslims I saw some Muslims saying but we cannot find those reference you know we cannot find those things because they don't they don't want to find it here we go I have yeah. it in front of me on screen it took me two seconds to oh. find it you know okay and right. I can use Google translation I, I do not mm -hmm. need uh, to use any uh, this is a Muslim website almaktaba.org uh -huh. You know, this yeah. is this is a website what, made what, by Muslims. What, what, surah, what surah is this? This is not surah. This is not surah. This is a story about Muhammad ordering to kill a okay. man just because he is praying a lot. So okay. Muhammad, he felt jealous. The man, he pray a lot. The Muslim talking about him, how good he is. For no reason, Muhammad, he said, who want to go and kill this guy? Like, why you want to kill this guy? I mean, this guy is a Muslim. He commit no crime. He did not kill anyone. He did not... Uh, uh, commit uh, any 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 reason so, for capital yeah, punishment. Because, yeah, I don't want to cut you off, but like I'm 37 years. I'm a Muslim. I, I pray five times a day. Hmm. You know, I fast in the month of Ramadan. I know I, I, I love everybody, but like what you're saying here, you know, 37 years I'm in Africa. I have never heard about these things. Okay, so I'm like my friend. I, my friend I, I have a request for you. Mm -hmm. I can send you the link right now to your okay. Skype, and you no can problem. use Google Translation. And now forget okay. about Christian Prince, what he's saying. This is I'll, a Muslim I'll, website. You can I'll check it out. That, you yeah. can contact yeah. them. You can check where this website is coming from where, you know. Yes. And, uh, and yes. the website is not really important for me. The story okay. uh, with the reference. There is a reference there. Yeah. So yeah, now, because when I, yeah. when I say this, a lot of people like what I read from your book. And then when I start to ask people about this, and then they're going to be telling, yeah, Yo, you got to be careful about social media because there are so many people out there. But I'm I'm, I'm a somebody who don't scare, uh, like, I don't feel scared about like, if something is real, it's real. No matter how much everybody challenges it, it's going to stay real. So for the fact that a lot of people, like a lot of Muslims, 
friends, they be like, oh, you act so many clips on, oh, you know, you are with Satan and, and, and all that. And, uh, I yeah. don't, I, I feel confused a little bit because I feel like when it's real, okay, my friend, you know, no matter how much you challenge it, let us me, let us me and you yeah. do something useful instead of wasting time. Okay. I send you the link. You can open it to your site and you can click at Google Translation. Okay. And you can see. I'm and again, don't forget to check the website. If this is maybe, maybe this is a Christian website. Maybe this is a Christian Prince website, as they say. Okay, I'll see, but remember, I'll see, yeah. remember, in that website, there's the reference of the books, which means the website is not important. What okay. is important there is the reference. So here, the Muhammad, reference, yes. yeah, the reference. Uh, yes. uh, and this is an article posted by a person. His name is Ahmed Dawood. He's saying, Abu Bakr mm -hmm. Sadiq came to the Prophet. This is Google translation for the Arabic text, which means the translation would not be very good accurate but we'll do that we'll do the job okay. okay so he came in the in the in the in the, in the prayer and uh, he said oh messenger of allah i am such and such a valley of a man i saw which means i saw a man in the in in here he is okay. he, he is very good looking and uh, like you know he's a, he looks so decent you know and uh, uh, he he uh, he pray a lot mutakhashya he pray a lot you know so everybody is wondering about how good he is and then yeah. The prophet, peace be upon him, he says, go and kill him. The guy did not say anything yet. I mean, he just told him he pray a lot. Yeah. You know? That's what, oh, that's what I read, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you can continue the story. And then well, he sent one after one, one after one after one. Ali, he sent Abu Bakr. They sent Abu Bakr, the guy was bowing down. Abu Bakr, he said, I could not kill him because he was bowing down to Allah. I was waiting for him to finish. But he don't, guy, don't stop praying. Then okay. he sent the Ali, then he sent, so look at this madness. And then the Muslim, they say, this is a lie, it doesn't exist. If you go down with me, you will see the reference. This is Islamic yeah. books, forget about the website. Narrated okay. Abu Sa'id al-Khudari, here, sorry, al-Khudari, yeah. Al-Muhaddith al-Haythami, al-Masdar, Majma'u al-Zawaid, page number 228, value number 6. The Hadith is Sahih. Does it say Sahih? Do you see it? Yes. Hmm. But if you ask Muslims, they say this is nowhere to be found. Yeah. <laughs> they said this is yeah, a story, this is, is a lie. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. You know, okay, and now we continue. The reference is not over. There's more reference. Hold on. Uh, narrated Abu Huraira, Hadith al Albani, ja, uh, uh, page number, uh, 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 sorry, hadith number 2506. <laughs> Still, they can't find it. And then all, all of this is reference. All of, all of what you see here is reference. And yet the Muslim they say we cannot find it. Where we can find this? Yeah, this is this is this is a, a little bit of a problem that we encounter because some of these things, like everywhere we come from, is how we go with the teaching. So for <laughs> us, everything about your video, I just started listening from you know to your channel like maybe two months ago. But everything I hear you said, I had never heard about that in my whole life. And I'm 37. Imagine I never heard. When, I, when they say Islam, I think Islam is peace, you know, because my country, we are like 90% Muslims. It's love. We love everybody, you know. Wherever you come from, we love you. Hey, come on, we don't, man. You, are you, are yeah. you from Nigeria? No, I don't want to mention my country, but oh, very okay. close to Nigeria. All right. Yeah. So, my friend, listen. Now, based on what I just showed you, and I show you <laughs> reference, and by the way, you can just copy the text, copy one line, and search in the internet. You will find tons of yeah, websites. I'm, 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 right? I'm definitely going to go forward with that because right. this is why I call so you. Now, I'm like, if I have to... Based on this, my friend, based on this, do you think Muhammad is a good guy? I mean, the guy, obviously, he got jealous. People, they have attention. Yep. The spotlight now is not in Muhammad. So now everybody talking about this guy who is very good looking. The way they teach me, I'm going to answer the way they teach me. The way they teach me, Muhammad, is, is the best man. But the way you're saying is not a good man. It's not the way I'm saying. I'm showing you your books. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. The way you, the reference that you given from, from the other side, yeah. he is not a good guy. But very, the way very, they very me, evil. I mean, the guy, he did nothing. Don't the Muslim, they say that nobody should be killed. If somebody, they say to you that the Quran says, if someone killed a man as if he killed all mankind, correct? The whole Muslim mankind, man. yes. Okay. Yes. Now, what is the crime this guy, he did? He was praying to Allah. Allah. Yeah. So how that can be a crime? Like, did that Muhammad not... convict him that he is a, a satanic person? Did he debate yeah. him? He did not talk to him. Yeah, like, the, face, the guy's face looked like a you know? satan, something like that. So, right away he said, this guy is a satan, go and kill him. Why? Because he's jealous, obviously. Why? They are talking about him, how he's biased he is, how nice he is, how wonderful he is, how a great believer he is. He's a crime. He is so good to Muhammad. He got jealous. I have a yeah. competition. For 
you know, it's, it's, I think, I think, you know, if I thought there is the hidden side about Islam, is, you know, it's going to be easy to deceive people like us who can't speak Arabic because I mm. always ask people like Muslim people about, can I pray in my local language? And they be like, no, you cannot pray in your local language. So I find that disturbing because like, I can't speak Arabic. I don't want to say anything that I don't know. Like, I don't want to be like, you know, memorizing things that I don't even know the meaning. Like if I say it, uh, like Sami Allah, Holy Man Hamda, I just know it, but I don't know what the, what is the meaning. So, but they were like, oh, you, you know, you gotta learn about it. I'm like, if I say it in my native language, you wouldn't, because Allah hear everything. I I just go to certain surahs in the Quran and I say here, Allah said I hear everything. So if you hear everybody, then I think when I translate in my native, they said no, you can't do that. You gotta do it in Arabic. So I went to Dr. Sabi Ali and Dr. Sabi Ali said yes, you can pray in your. They said no, this guy is so. I'm confused. I'm like, so if I ask you about that, how you how you see that like? Well, first of all, Shabir Ali, he say things, is just, you know, Shabir Ali is the kind, he prefer not to lose a Muslim, uh, losing his faith from saying the truth. So he, he say whatever people like to hear, you know? So Shabir Ali, obviously, he don't tell the truth and they are right. But they yeah, are, gave, they, but, gave, but, but they are the, the same. Reference. But they all he the also same. gave the ref reference about the uh, Prophet Muhammad talking to the Persian, like if they could say it in their Persian language, you know, it's, it means so much. If somebody could hear what they said, that means a lot to them. What reference he gave you? I think something like um, uh, Imam Hanbali, something like that, I think, yeah, because I was listening to her, uh, listen to him rather, yeah. Well, Imam Hanbal is not, you know, this is, you see, those are school of Sunni, and so, but they yeah. are not the prophet, you know. If Imam Hanbal he said something, doesn't make him really saying what Islam teach because he is. So, just, you, are, so you, you are saying you you are saying we can pray in our native language only in Arabic. Okay, let us go to the Quran and see okay. if we can or not. You know. Okay. The Quran speak clearly about why the Quran is in Arabic. Chapter okay. twelve, verse number two. It says, we send down the Quran as in Arabic in order Wait, that you may I learn see. wisdom. Correct? Mm -hmm. You might learn wisdom. This is the chapter of Yusuf, chapter 12, verse number 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Allah, he says, we tell you, we will tell you nice stories, which is for kids. But look, so in order to learn wisdom, you have to know Arabic. This is what the Quran is saying. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We continue. This is not the only, I mean, this is what we just, uh, we just started. Uh, chapter 13, verse number 37. The one, Allah is saying, thus we have revealed the judgment of authority in Arabic, where though follow their vein. So if you are not going to do the Arabic, you are following your own temptation, your own desire. This is not from Allah. What, what, what chapter is that? Chapter 13, chapter 13, verse number 37. Okay. But, but, but like, well, what's the name of the verse? Uh, sorry, the chapter, Arad, the chapter of the thunder. Oh, okay. The same chapter, the, sh the same chapter 13, 13, where it says that the angels are, uh, the, the thunder is an angel, that's why it's called a thunder. If you go to 13, 13, it says, وَيُسَبِّحُ اللَّهُ بِحَمْدِهِ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Sorry, الْرَعَدُ So, Allah, the thunder, they praise Allah. I can take it as a metaphorical, but you will see that Muhammad he made it clear that this what? is, the angels, they are the thunder is an angel, and he beat the you know he, he beat the cloud by a, a, a thunder belt. So yeah. this is how Muhammad explained thunder, proving to us again that he is a fabricator. Now uh, we continue. We just showed you two, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to chapter sixteen, verse one hundred three, it says, "We know indeed that they say it is a man that teaches him the tongue of him, the wicked." Uh, uh, wickedly point to uh, notably for a uh, foreign while this is Arabic and pure so what the what what behind this uh, verse this is chapter 16 mm -hmm. verse number 103 yeah. Muhammad he have uh, he go to two slaves and they are from Assyria Assyrian and yeah. uh, they are teaching him about Judaism and about Christianity and yeah. people they saw him sitting a lot with them and each time he sit with him, he come and he say what he learned from them. So they accuse him that you are learning from those guys. So he yeah. said to them, well, hold on. If I'm learning from them, those are not pure Arabic people. But I'm giving you yeah. a pure Arabic book, which is very silly. Because if you speak to me now in your, let us say you are from Nigeria. And I'm yeah. speaking to you in English. 
then I speak in Arabic to the people who speak Arabic, pure Arabic. That doesn't change anything. I just learned from you. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that? Yeah, this is a very silly argument. However, so Muhammad he is saying that the proof that this is a truth, it's a pure Arabic. So anything oh. is not pure Arabic is not this. The one who's talking here is Allah. Remember? Yeah. Okay. So what kind of logic does God he have? Zero logic. Then he continue. And then he said, other verse in the Quran, uh, I'm just giving you some, not all of them, because okay. there are too many. Chapter 41, yeah. verse number three. Which a book one? wherefore, a book where, whereof, the verses are explained in detail. A Quran yeah. in yeah. Arabic. Okay, hold on. Guys, the Quran, Quran is explained in detail. Yeah, so so why we have a billion books to, for to give interpretation. Who understand, yeah. For people who understand. So according to Allah, you don't understand. You're an idiot. Definitely. You know, this because you don't speak problem. Arabic. So this is this is a stupid book. So Allah yeah. He made the book in Arabic for those who understand the Arabic. Okay. But isn't it the Quran? Muslim they claim it's a message for all mankind. Yes. So and how you, and then and when they insist you have to pray to Allah because this is an Arab supremacist. Yeah, but, uh, I don't want to cut you up, but for, like I want to say something like to my understand a book where of the verses are explained in details, a Quran in Arabic for people who understand. Is it telling or is it telling Muhammad to tell uh, the people of the Arabs about this teaching and then they're gonna spread it to the whole mankind or is it just for the Arab people? My friend. If Allah, you know, if we go to different verse in the Quran, let us let me help you more. If we go to the Quran, we will find that Allah He mentioned clearly that Allah He never sent a messenger except in the tongue of His own people. Yeah, I've, I've read that one too. Huh? Yeah, I've read that one too. Okay, chapter fourteen, verse number four. So based in the Quran, you as a person who live in Africa, I don't know which country. Let us say you are from, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Senegal or uh, Zambia <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, okay. All right. So, uh, in order Allah to send you a messenger, he have to be from your people and he have to speak your tongue. This is what the verse saying, correct? Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Is Muhammad from your people? I mean, he's from the Arabs. Okay. Is he a black yes. person? He's an African? No. He's an Arab. He's a white Arab. All right. And do he speak your language? He does not. Okay, so the verse here is showing contradiction because if Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind and Allah he sent this message to Muhammad in his time, you see, Muslim they can say to you, oh before Muhammad, that was for people before Muhammad. No. Yeah. This is this verse he received in Muhammad is the one who said that verse. So how this yeah. is for the one before it, it says we never send the messenger except so that is we never send that mean to the, yeah, to the I, moment. I always ask people about that. Hmm. So how this is can be a book of God for everybody when it says in order to understand it you have to know Arabic and now in the same time he's saying Allah never sent a messenger to any person he, he unless he's from your nation to Africa. not only to Africa no so Africa is not going to be valid word because Africa Africa have many languages and many ethnic correct Yes, absolutely. So let us say there is a, a thousand ethnic group in Africa. I don't know how many, but let us say for the sake of argument. That's a lot, a lot. Yeah, let us say a thousand a, a group and a thousand language. Then, according to this verse, Allah He have to send a thousand messenger at least for the thousand ethnic in a thousand books languages. Mm -hmm. And the Quran explain why, which makes sense in order to make it clear for them you see it that makes sense so absolutely it, it make it make big sense yeah so if god yeah, i want to send me a message i mean doesn't make sense you give me a book in chinese and then i have to pray to uh, this god in chinese and now yes. i'm a person hardly maybe i don't even know how to write my own language yeah. you know how many people they can afford to go to school and learn in africa Especially exactly, Africa. man. Like, like <clears throat> we, like we don't have nothing, and you have to go to school. Your father don't have nothing. Both your parents, and then you want to learn Arabic. It's not free. So, like, how is this thing coming to me? And then none of my family is struggling with nothing. And it's, then you go to the sheikh, and then you go to the sheikh, and the sheikh start beating the hell of you to repeat the Quran, which you don't understand. So you can memorize the Quran by heart, but you do not know what you are reading. Yeah, this is what I don't like. I don't want to be memorizing things that I want to know every details. Like. 
I always ask people, a lot of people that I ask, like, if you say, Sami Allah, what is the meaning? They'd be like, no, it's a prayer, you know. I say, yeah, it's a prayer, but I want to know the meaning, you know, because I want to know the meaning of what I'm doing. You know, I spend my time praying a lot of time, you know. I say the name of Muhammad a lot, you know. So, you know, I don't want to be wasting my time on things that I don't know the meaning. That's why people say that I ask so many questions. They say, you got to be careful because the way you ask asking questions is not good for you. I said, I want to know the truth. You know, that's why I end up searching until I found your channel. Then I'm like, okay, I'm going to order his book. So when I saw that one, I'm like, I have to call him because I don't see the reference anywhere. So my friend, after what we said, are you going to this? Are you like, do you make your mind to leave Islam? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to keep, you know, like researching more and more to find the, the, the bigger truth. Because I started listening to you not long ago, hmm. you know. Okay. So, but I, you know, your teachings helped me a lot because it makes me know more than what I didn't know, hmm. you know, which is really good. Okay, let me, so, let me ask you. And, let me ask you. Just to, to make it uh, to make it more simple, what is making you keeping you now as a Muslim? Give me a reason. One reason. You know, being born with something to live it in one day is not easy. This, this, this is not that. This is this is not that, my friend. You know, okay, it, let, let us say, like, my friend, my friend. Let us say I am born with a mole. And then the doctor, he says, this mole is going to cause cancer for you. Should I keep it forever because it is, I'm born with it? So, secondly, there's nobody, there's nobody is born with something. That is a, that is not true. Because I don't, you know, I don't, okay, so I, I did not change my father. I did not change, yeah. I, I did not choose, sorry, my father. I did not choose my mother. I did not choose my brothers. I did not choose my sisters. I did not choose my cousins. So, but can I get rid, rid, rid of them? Yes, I can get rid of them. The second you are born, you are individual. What if my dad is a criminal? What if my mom is a bad woman? What if my brother is a bad? So, no, you can always get rid of anything bad around you. It doesn't matter who they are. Yeah, so, you know, are... that's why <clears throat> That's why I'm searching for the truth, you know, because searching no for the truth is not, it's not easy. Do, you know, there is something I can help you with additional to what you said. If, if you can help me anything? Yeah, but like, you know, uh, to, to, to make you have the final decision that Islam is really false. What is holding you? Because you're, just because you are born with it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a few details. Okay. You know, born as a Muslim, and mm. then all your family members Muslim, your country, everybody's Muslim, your friends, me. I'm so, just talking to you. Okay, but everyone around me is a Muslim. I miss all my Christian friends, but I know everyone around me, all my movement is Muslim. So like. Mm. Just jump and make you know decision like that. I'll be lonely, you know. I'll be very lonely. Like I don't. I'm not gonna have nobody to so be around me. You you prefer yeah. to go to hell and not to long to no, be lonely. No, no, I'm searching for the truth still because I, I, I like I said, I, I order your books. I'm reading it. I'm reading. I didn't even finish it. So when I came across it, so that's why I wanted to debate and ask right. because I want to make okay, sure that. Friend, I will give you time yeah. to to search and you know you're welcome to call me anytime, and you can okay. invite your friends or shake. You know what about you call your shake. I'm sharing your message a lot. Yeah, you know, call a sheikh, tell him, well, you know, uh, I'm really this guy, he, you know, we want somebody to answer him. So tell him, and I promise you, I will I will take care, I will speak nice to him, you know, if he's a sheikh. And as you see, I'm talking nice to you, and you're a Muslim, right? Yeah, I'm a Muslim. Okay, so I will, I, will, I will welcome him here. I will be happy to hear his opinion, how he can prove me wrong. Tell him, prove him wrong. I mean, we need somebody to prove him wrong. Not by making videos, okay. refuting this, me by his talking this, to himself. Uh, yeah, you made a, you made a point here because I was like, when I see you talking and a lot, a lot of Muslim live in Islam, and then I see like uh, people like Dr. Sabi Ali, I follow him a lot, a lot. So, and then you have like uh, Dr. Zakanai, and I'm like, why is these people are not going to talk to CP? Because this guy is, you see somebody come to your family and taking all your kids and taking all your kids, you're still looking at them like that. I'm like, it's not fair. Go there and talk to him, you know, talk to him so that because we will, we will rely more on Dr. Zakanai than you. Because if he says something like, if he debunk you, we'll be like, wow, Alhamdulillah, finally CP. But and then they, so this is my trouble too. Like why are they not coming to you and and then debate with you so that we could get the more light? Because right. you are Christian, they are Muslim, so we my will friend, listen more to them. They death. avoid me. They avoid me for a very simple reason. They are coward and they do not dare to make a call as you did. For you, you don't lose your career if you call a Christian prince. For them, they will lose their career. They are liars and they are not scholars. 
and there's no scholar can defend Islam even the Quran says so you see like we just showed you the Quran says we send the Quran in Arabic and we in explain Arabic. it right we explain it in details okay what is the details yeah, what is no, the details no clear, clear detail, you know? so uh, so why we have Ibn Kathir and why we have a Qurtubi and why we have a Tabari and we have thousands of interpretation books if the Quran I mean who can explain the Quran better than Allah think yeah. with me nobody right Nobody, maybe Muhammad. Okay. okay, not even Muhammad. So if the Quran saying Allah, he explained the Quran, and then we find that the Muslims, they have to make a tens of thousands of books to explain the Quran. That's mean Allah, he failed to explain the Quran and this verse is a fraud. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It sounds like that. It is. And thank you, my friend. It sounds like you, and, you, Yeah, I have, I have a question. I don't know if you have so many people online, but I still have a question. Sure, we have only a thousand uh, three hundred something four hundred. I don't know. Maybe it could be a background because I see you just mastered this book. But there's a verse maybe in background. I don't know. It says like talking to Muhammad, like if you have a doubt, go and ask the people of the book. So when I take that argument to my friend, they said I'm getting it wrong because they pick up like a story where Muhammad was talking to like people. The Jews come to Muhammad about mm -hmm. you know to swear by the Torah. I'm like, but I'm not seeing that here. I, this verse says, if Muhammad had a doubt, he'd go back to the people of the book. So that's yeah. me, they are telling, yeah, I don't know if you know that verse. Yeah, no, this is actually in chapter 10, in, in chapter of Eunice. It says, if you were in doubt uh, uh, as to what we have revealed into thee, then and exactly. go and ask the people of the book. And here you see another oh, stupid statement. Here another stupid statement. The Muslim, they don't need, I mean, Muslims, they just take it blindly. Okay, so Muhammad, if you have a doubt, Go and ask the Christians and the Jews about what? <laughs> if, if they are liars, you ask them about what? If yeah. you came because they are lying, so you ask them about what? So, so if they are the one who will confirm the truth for you, that means they are truthful. Another stupid statement. Secondly, here it says the Quran keeps saying the people of the book. Okay, how the Muslim they say that our book is corrupted, and then the stupid book keeps saying the people of the book. Exactly. You know. Because if we are people who have a corrupt book, then we don't deserve any title of people of the book. Because if somebody lost his hair, you don't say the guy with the hair. He don't have a hair no more. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a stupid statement. So if we search in the Quran, you will see the Quran really say the word Nasara, which is supposed to mean Christian, which is wrong. As usual, yeah. Muhammad is always wrong. And the other, yeah, which is supposed to mean Jews. But usually the Quran says, Al Kitab, Ahlul Kitab, okay, Ahlul Kitab, the people of the book, okay, hold on, who are they? The people who have the book, okay, who are they? The Christian and the Jews, okay, hold on. So if they are the one who have the book, that's mean you don't have a book. Yeah. Is the Muslims are people of the book? No. So the Quran confirms two two things that we have a book, Muslims don't have a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the same it's, time, it's, it, it, yeah. In the same time, this statement confirms something more. Not only we have a book, they don't have a book. That means we have God, they don't have God. Because why Muhammad, he is not called from the people the book. If he have a book already, it's called the Quran. So the Quran is not a book, obviously. It is a hadith. Hadith is a speech. A speech is not from God. And even the Quran says, and wa Rasul Kareem. This is this is the statement of a, of a noble, uh, uh, noble prophet. So this is the word of a noble prophet. Who is this man? Is that the word of God? No. It is not. Yeah. The Quran confirmed that. Sometimes it's disturbing, you know? Sometimes yeah, because what? Because they, I sometimes it's, it's, it's really disturbing. Like you, like you spend your whole life, like 30, 30, 30 something years, like all your parents, everybody devoted, and all of a sudden you find out that something is not really right, you know. Because I feel like if Islam is really, 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 really light, you know, even though it has, it will have some enemies, but the people will come out and defend it, right? You know, like speaking with the truth. You see, I mean, defend. You see, defend when when people they say yeah. I defend. If, if your defend is silly, stupid, that's me. You are not defending. What? You are making it more horrible. Yeah, because I, I, you know, like people like Dr. Zaganaik and Sabi Ali should come and debate with you, and then we can see the light. They were never there. But we don't. They were never. Yeah, there. we don't speak Arabic. But I, my doubt started like when I was in Africa. I have Zaganaik. He don't speak Arabic. Hold on, Zaganaik don't speak Arabic. Ahmed Dida don't speak Arabic. All of them they don't speak Arabic. They are doing business. 
but they, they speak in Arabic. No, they don't. Go and watch the videos of the that he will. He, I, he, he I, have I a, go, no, go go watch the the video of the that he have an Arabic Arabic translator to translate what he is saying, and he said in the video, because you know I don't know Arabic, but still I can understand what the Quran is saying here. You know, go watch the video. So you will see an Arabic guy, Arab guy, translating to Ahmad Didad and translating what Ahmad Didad is saying to the Arab. So the audience are Arab. Ahmad Didat, he don't speak Arabic, speak in English, and the translator is translating because he don't speak Arabic. So none of them speak Arabic, and you know the saying, if they speak Arabic, Zach and I, he speak Arabic, he don't. He don't. He cannot even pronounce his, his prophet name correctly. But look here what happened. This is the Quran, chapter 69. It says, this is verily the word of an honored messenger. Does it say that? Yeah. Okay, who is this honored messenger? Muhammad. Yeah. All right. How this honor messenger? He is the one who made the Quran. I thought this Quran is from God. Yeah, because this you is know? what they taught us. Like it is from God. Yeah. Uh, chapter eighty-one, verse number nineteen. Again, it says, "This is ver verily, this is the word of most honorable messenger." Okay. Well, what is the word? Th this chapter we are talking about. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, magic and stupid things and fictions and blah 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 and doesn't make sense anything there and then he says and this is the word of an honorable messenger who is this honorable messenger you see Muhammad. is if the quran is the word of allah and the quran is saying this is the word of honorable messenger that's mean if allah is what it's meant that's mean allah is a messenger he's not god <laughs> correct let us say for sure. the sake of argument they will say to you this is not the word of muhammad Okay, this is the word of Allah. Okay, I said, this is the word of who? They will say Allah. Okay, who is talking? Allah. He give it to who? They say Muhammad. Okay, the Quran says, verily, this is the word of the most honorable messenger. Who is this messenger? Moment of silence. Yeah. Hmm. Stupidity is amazing, my friend. Yeah, it's a so much, so much contract. You know, if you read the Quran, you read the Bible. I go by the English version, you know. So when I see so many things, I keep asking my friends. Some of my friends even, they don't want to answer me back, you know. A lot of people that I talk right now, they're, they're distancing away from me. And they are my closest friend. We went to school, the same school, 12 years in class. But I, I, then, then they're telling me that you are, you, are, you are living your way, man. And then they're, you know. So when I ask them a lot of questions, they just now never talk to me. It's hard. So Well, my friend, I'm, I'm here I, to help you. And again, yeah, if you I, have I, any questions, feel free. You and I encourage you. I encourage you to call your sheikh and say, I want to hear, choose the best sheikh in your country. Choose wow. the best sheikh in your country. Tell him, yeah. please call this guy. A lot of Muslims leave in Islam because nobody is able to refute him. And let us see what he will say to you and let me know. Okay. Maybe you can even oh, yeah. record his voice message. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> tell him about you, you know. Yeah, if you can record his voice, tell him, I will record your voice message to, to him to show him that you accept the challenge, Sheikh. Tell him, do you please, can you please call him? He have, you know, he go live, he's, anyone can call him. And I can even, if you want, I can tell him in advance, if, but I, you don't need to tell me in advance. You can call me anytime, surprise me. Take me into surprise and push me, <laughs> you know? And then you will see that your Sheikh is not a Sheikh, he's a shaky Sheikh. So Islam is a religion, as long nobody question or ask any details. The second you ask yeah. details, you will find Islam collapse. Yeah, I think that is even a Quran, like we don't have to ask questions. Yeah. Well, thank you, my friend, for calling. Let us see yeah, if we can I take another Muslim. Yeah. Thank welcome. you so much. Take care. Okay. Any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? <clears throat> Okay, let us call this Muslim. <laughs> so why this guy he texts me if he don't want to call me? Look what this guy he said, guys. You keep showing them a questionable hadith. 
This is a smart Muslim giving me a smart answer. Stop misleading people. You keep showing them a questionable hadith. You just said yourself, it's a questionable. Is it a questionable mean it's a lie? It's in Sahih al-Bukhari. <laughs> why you do this? Secondly, you idiot. If it's a questionable, why it's in your book? Guys, it's a questionable hadith. So why it is in your book? Didn't you must have question it before you put it there? Or you are a bunch of dummies who write books without knowing what you are writing? Huh? And this is the hadith you want me to show in the screen? Here we go, guys. Whoever possessed the following three qualities will have sweetness of faith. Did he say the word sweetness? Okay, he's trying to call him, Mr. Call. Oh, let's see, I didn't see it. Let's call him. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Christian friends? Oh, you are a girl? Yeah. Sorry, I thought you um, were a guy, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay, man. Thank you for calling me. I didn't think you were ever going to call me. Oh, no, I called you many times, but, you know, you see, when, when I go live, I receive tens and tens and tens of messages. So I uh, I get, like, which one I will answer now, you know what I mean? So it's not I'm yeah, picking you yeah. up over somebody. I thought, actually, you are a guy. Actually, if you know you are a girl, I will not answer. Because Muslims, when we quote for them what yep. Muhammad said and something dirty, they will say Christian Prince is speaking filthy to a Muslim woman. Right. Yeah. Um... Yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say that sometimes you just show them hadiths that are taken a little bit out of context and mm -hmm. it can mislead people. Can you name one? Um, yeah, of course, I can name one. You okay, were talking, like, when I jumped on your live, you were talking about the bewitchment of the Prophet. And then you're like, oh, if he's bewitched, then you cannot trust him. But why don't you show them the full hadith like I just sent you? Well, this is the um, what, 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 okay, the, the hadith you sent me. I, I, I just, do... I, yeah, I just sent it to you. Okay, my no, friend. no, no. It, it talks about, look, it talks about, um, you know, he was bewitched and he was imagining that he had slept with his wives and all that. Okay. But if you read the rest of it, all right. it's talking about um, how Allah actually revealed to him what was happening, like the cure. Okay. So in the end, like Allah is the one that protected him and he's the one that cured him. Okay. So what's the deal? Like it, it's actually affirming to us that Allah does not abandon us and hmm. he's like Right. You know, like he's he's on our side, and I think you're misleading them by just reading the first part and leaving everything else out. Okay, you guys, listen, uh, our, our friend here, uh, it's okay to call you a friend? Yeah, sure, okay. man. Sure, but the, you know that this is not right in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 51 says, Take not Christian and Jews as a friend. You know that, right? So, but just why I'm asking I, if it's okay. But no, listen, now listen, you just said you are okay. the one you are the one who chooses hadith, and you are you are saying this is a correct hadith, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what is confirming here that the Prophet, he imagined himself, imagined himself doing things, but he did not, correct? Um, yes. Okay. Including sexual intercourse, correct? Right, yeah. How bad the situation that a person, he think he's having sex, but in fact he did not. How bad? What do you think? <laughs> Look, I, I'm not saying that bewitchment is fine. I'm not saying that. I'm, no, no, all I'm saying question, is... My, my friend, this is not the question. Yes. I'm asking you, how bad the situation of a person? He could not recognize between reality of a physical act because sexual intercourse is not uh, taking a bill, you know, like maybe, did I take my bill? Or maybe I forgot. This is going to happen to everybody, correct? Do, do um, you agree? Like, did I take a bill for my, for my medicine? Maybe I forgot. That can happen, correct? Yeah. This can happen uh, for, us, for a person who is not bewitched, anyone, me and you and anyone. So, but here is different. How somebody can be so much deceived to the point he think he had sex. That's mean he isn't totally an illusionate person. He could not recognize reality from illusion. So he yeah, is but totally. The, but in under, the end, but in the end, he was delivered. Okay, before, in the end, be, to okay, the cure before, came before to we him. arrive to the end, let us let us start step by step. Came to him from Allah. My friend, I can. And you're not do mentioning you, do that. You have, do you have a name? Do you have a name? You can call me Drax. Drax. Okay, Drax. 
listen yeah i, yeah. I want to go with you and before we arrive to the end let us start from the beginning because we have to analyze the, the, the situation so you agree with me that muhammad is in a stage of out of control he cannot even even his sex is not real do you agree with me yeah okay sure. okay so now we have a man he is a prophet of god and he was under black magic for a long period, according to Muslims, more than 12 months. Not, not, no, it's not a long period. How, I mean, it's... Okay, uh, okay uh, uh, how long? It doesn't say, but hmm. he he must not have, like... He, he couldn't have been in the same state for too long because Allah revealed to him what was going on with him. Okay. And he lifted he lifted whatever black magic was done upon him and okay. he was able to be cured and he actually even okay. identifies the person who done what? this to him. Okay. Are you saying so to this me, wouldn't happen. Uh, uh, so this is a protection. Okay, hold like on. he's protected. Are you saying to me yes. things with knowledge or you are guessing? No, I'm not guessing. I'm reading the hadith, like I no, said. No, you are not reading. No, you see, here one. we go. This I'm is, reading. This I'm is reading your official. This is your official. Sent. This is your official Islamic website, Islam Web. I will show it in the screen. I just, it took me two seconds. You know, I don't agree with them, by the way. But this is one of the answers. Uh, Islam wait, Web. I'm not on YouTube. Okay, one no second. problem. I can give you the link. Islam Web. Net. But just be sure, please, to mute the YouTube so you don't have double sound. Okay. Okay. Islam Web. Net. And here the question. It is okay. mentioned, you see, it's not me who is saying it's a year, it is you Muslim who say it's a year. هل صحيح ما ورى في بعض الروايات بأن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سحر مدة عام كامل؟ Is it true that the, the stories mentioned with me by Muslims, Muslim scholars, that the Prophet was under black magic for one full year, one whole year? The answer, you know, uh... okay, do you see it? Let no, me, no, let, I mean... Let me give you the link. Oh, hold on, it, uh, the, because the link have Arabic, I have to shorten it, hold on. I don't know if it's going to go on your Skype, let me try. Because it have a, uh, it have an Arabic... Um, yeah. Uh, you know, when you do search, you know, it shows Arabic uh, uh, in the in the search. And that forbid Google from accepting it. I don't know, it's going to go to you. Can you click at the link there, please? I, hit, I think it's working, here we go. It's working. Okay, I can check it out, one yeah. sec. Yeah, you can open it. And I don't know if you know Arabic or not. Do you know Arabic? If you don't know Arabic, you no, can use Google. No, I do not. Okay. I do not. You can use Google Translation. Guys, the link mm -hmm. I, I posted, does it work? Let me know, please. I just posted it in the chat. Does it work? Mm -hmm. <sighs> You guys were able to uh, to open it. Did you did you do yawning? Yeah, friend? yeah, I can open it. Did you I'm, do? Did you do? I'm, did you I'm do, looking at it. Did you do yawn? You did yawning, right? Sorry. Did you do the yawning? I heard you Wait, yawning. Sorry? I heard you yawning. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, because yawning from Shaitan, according to Muhammad, you know that, right? And sneezing from Allah. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say that, sir. No, no, I'm saying, did you yawn? Did I yawn? Yeah. No, no, I did not. I didn't. I, no. I was just like looking at the link you just sent me. Yeah, because I'm warning you that because yawning is from shaitan according to the science of your prophet. You know, and this is the reference in front where of does, you. Where does, see now, like, where does it say that? Whoa. Here we go. This is, this is Sahih Hadith in front of you. I can show it to you from all books. According to your prophet, sneezing is from Allah, yawning is from shaitan. That's why I was like, mm. what? Shaitan is there, you know? Because you know you are yawning, so now let us go back to our. I mean, topic. let's go. Yeah, let's okay. go back to. The... So now let us use Google Translation, and here okay. I will click Translate, and you can do the same from your side, and we post it in the chat so everybody can do the same. The question is yeah. very simple: Is it true that it's mentioned in narration, in narration that the Messenger of Allah grant him peace? Uh, use magic. Uh, he, he was under magic translation. You know, Google translation is not good. Uh -huh. For entire year, does it say entire year? Do you see it? For um, entire year. Huh? I'm on my phone, so it's really hard to translate it. No problem. Well. You can look in the screen, and you can you can do what we are, what we just did later. Yep. You have the reference anyway. So this is the fatwa, and the fatwa number is six five zero eight seven 
uh, uh, 8-7, I don't know, there's a zero next. And then it says, so is, is it true that, you know, he was uh, under black magic for one year? According to narration, so when Christian Prince said to you, one year, he's not making things up. Now the answer is saying, it's word, it's mentioned mm -hmm. in the Sahih. Where? In the Sahih. <laughs> and others. Okay? Uh -huh. That the Prophet, he was bewitched by uh, Zuraik ibn uh, 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 by a Jewish guy, his name is Zuraik. Okay. And then he yeah. says, okay, uh, and uh, and the, and the period during which magic struck him was forty days. In some account, six months. <laughs> and some and some scholars six combined. Months. Hold on. In some scholars combined two account of the duration, which means it's the, the end with uh, uh, it's a beginning and the end. It was six months, but it direct impact on him. Uh, this is a translation. It was only for forty days. Do you agree with this? This is the answer of the Muslim uh, official scholars. Okay, so, so at what least, I, at least it what was at, at least it was six months. At least it was six months, and the oh, direct impact, days. which means Muhammad, he lost his mind, forty days, and then he continued. Okay, six but month. from okay, from what I see here, it's saying that it's ambiguous. Like it's not clear exactly how 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 much time. Okay, how come this was it clear for you? you said, okay, hold on. How, how you said you said to me the hate doesn't say. I said to you one year. So why the Muslim they say one year? Or why the Muslim they say six months? And why the Muslim they say forty? If it's not clear, so you Muslim you make things you make things up, and then you tell us why you believe in what we say. It's you. This is your. This is your books. I, well, at the end of the day, though, like what I so, what I'm trying to get at is that at the end here, of the day, my friend, what who, they, what who they delivered confirm, him? What they confirm? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, why don't you say? What they confirm? Hold on, him? Him? Okay, hold on I will give you the mic. What is confirmed here that he was at least under black magic for six months, and forty days was the most horrible. This is what it says in front of you. And I can show it in Arabic for those who speak Arabic. So 40 days was the most horrible, and it's confirmed for sure that it was six months. So now, Muhammad in the six month, he was a prophet of Allah, correct? Yeah, of course. He was giving Quran? No? You cannot make assumptions. Look, you cannot make assumptions about things you don't know. So not, at I'm the not, end of the day, I'm not making assumptions. Yeah, so I'm I, not making okay. assumptions. If there is anywhere in your book says that the prophet he stopped giving after this happened, he stopped giving Quran for six months. Can you show me a reference? No, not a single reference. So Muhammad was giving Quran six months. He is under black magic, as you must have claim, not me. Or forty days. No, no, no. Or well, it says lesser, here. Or, no, 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 lesser, no, 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 no. It lesser, says forty yeah. days. Forty days where things is totally bad. He lost his mind. So six months total. This is what the, the page is saying. Yeah. This is what the page is saying. Not me. You can you know read the Arabic. You can read the English. You can ask if you know any friend. You know. So it says here. فهذا النص بين السنة التي وقع فيها السحر بين السنة أو سنة أنا شو تمين كما بين مدته أنه أربعين يوما أو ستة أشهر ولم نقف على قول يزيد على ستة أشهر. so we are not sure that we never heard of something saying uh, uh, it was more than six months. so it was during the year of a six month and the most horrible time استحكامه it was here with أربعين يوما من استحكامه. so the the magic was totally in control for 40 days 30 days but the magic was on him for six months now 40 days one week one day 10 hours it doesn't make any difference you said to me your prophet is is protected by allah correct yes okay how allah he and protected he is, him? He how allah he protected muhammad from the black magic tell us the story please. um oh, okay uh, so look you you said you said the the prophet right like he he was under okay he was under the influence for 40 days but he he got delivered by allah six and months. to and and to and, okay six months and, according and, to the page i showed you and okay you're a christian right so you believe that um my my, my my friend i don't change the question i'm look, asking you how i'm allah, not i'm not ch I'm okay no no no, no because no you're going you're sense. going away I'm from the question to, listen to the question listen to the question again please and then you can talk 
how Allah saved Muhammad from the black magic. Muhammad now he have a black magic. He did. He did through revelation. He did through uh, his dream, right? No. In the hadith I sent no, you. No. He, no. 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 He, no. He showed him. No. He showed him no. uh, where the no. No. First had. of all, it's not a dream. That's that's not true. I don't want to say you're lying. Uh, a revelation. Say, a rev no, 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 I'm not lying. Not, not revelation. revelation. Not revelation. Read the story. Dream, he the Read the story. He, he opened his chest. He uh, make a surgery. What surgery? Did they so, make a surgery for him or not? How he how he did uh, how he did this uh, 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 help him to to get rid of the? Uh, did he open his chest? He found no no he found the the object that okay. the guy so used. Okay, he did not. Okay, so the object is not in the chest of the prophet, right? No, he found okay. it by a well. So now, guys, was in a the well. object it, is it not in the chest of the prophet. The object is where in a wheel, right? Yes, read okay. it. You the, see, I, really, I said, says, okay, the, okay, the reason okay, I said to you, see, listen, listen to me, listen to me. The reason I said to you, open his chest, because there's a hadith says that the angels, they came to clean Muhammad from inside, from the dirt he have inside. Now, you are confirming that this is different dirt. So now we have two problems. We have a prophet, he is so dirty to the point he needs a surgery to cut his chest, take off but all things I'm, out. No, no, no. See, you're not. That's Let me that's continue, what please. I disagree with. Okay. You're just no. you're just saying stuff how right Allah. Now. Now, let's go what? back. You see, you're trying to avoid the question. How Allah saved Muhammad from the black magic? He saved him by showing him exactly who did this. Okay. this uh, did Allah thing show on him, him or Allah and he sent, cured him? Did Allah and send, cured him? Did Allah send two angels? Yes, he sent okay. two angels by his so, side, and so from it's their not conversation, Allah who showed him. he is, understood. Okay, uh, uh, it's, well, yes, it's, it's not the, Allah who showed the, him. The, yeah, but it's Allah who he he uh, sent. Oh, all right. So when you Muslim, you say Allah protect protect Muhammad. Do Allah need to send two angels to save him from black magic? Can't Allah he say? Of course. Hey Muhammad, black magic will not control no, you. No, no, I I disagree. Okay, isn't it the Quran says if Allah, isn't it the Quran say, the angels are a message today, they're the messengers of God. They're hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. Isn't it so the Quran says, the is. isn't it the Quran says, if Allah wants something to happen, he say B is going to be? Okay. Okay. Why Allah could not do that to Muhammad? He did not say B, and it was. Muhammad is suffering, as you see. You cannot question. No, no. You cannot question how no, I God can, does I can. His, you cannot. His, no, I can. No, I can question. I can question because your God, Allah in the Quran says, if this is a book other so, than okay, Allah. So, okay, you're telling listen, me, you're listen, telling listen, me listen, listen, God listen. in the Bible. If, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your God, Allah, he <laughs> said, he said, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And it says in the Quran, chapter 2, verse 117, as an example, if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be, correct? Yes. Okay. Allah, he wants his prophet to be saved from a horrible black magic. Yes. Can yes. Allah save him by saying B or he cannot? Yes, he can. And he can also choose exactly how he's going to cure But he did not. So According to the story, it took a uh, long time. Well, can, even, even it's after, not up to us. We okay, are human hold on, beings. Okay, you are hold, trying okay, hold to on. get to... Okay, hold you on, cannot hold on. go into the mind of God. All right. Let me, let, me, let me prove to you. Let me prove to you that Muhammad is always under black magic. I don't believe in this black magic, by the way, but I believe he's a crazy man. Let me let me ask you, can you prove That's to me, not, okay. can you give me something, Muhammad, he said, after this, proven that he yes. is not under black magic? After this incident where he is controlled gotten, by black magic. He has gotten revelation after this. You know, I'm not knowledgeable about exactly okay. which verses. But okay, what did. is the last revelation Muhammad he received? Do you know? Uh, the last revelation? Hmm. I think uh, I think it's like a chapter. What was it? Surah. Um, yeah, no, I'm not sure exactly, but I can look it up. Well, you see, uh, Muslims they always they come to us and they say to us, Muhammad is not a madman. I was trying to. But then, no, 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 but, but then, I'm trying. But to... then, if we go and see the revelation, I ask you. What is the because when I said what is the last revelation? So you don't have an excuse to it's, say. Okay, okay. Look, it's I think the last one is the one where you know the the God tells us that the religion has been perfected mm. for us and that it's okay. It's, guys, uh, the last revelation it is Allah. Yeah, so he said to him, the religion is became perfected. Correct. Yes. Okay, but this was in the beginning of the Quran. Oh. Well, uh, 
yeah so what's the deal like i i'm already aware that uh, you just approved to me not... you just approved to me now by your choice that muhammad was a madman because if this is in the How? beginning of the quran in chapter 5 verse number 3 it says today yes. i completed your religion for you accepted yes. islam yes. for you perfected my favor upon you but then he gave us another 100 uh, 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 something versus no 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 the, no, no, the Quran is not uh, arranged by okay. like, the order is not is not by revelation it's you know it, it's ordered a different kind okay, of okay hold on are you saying to me that this verse is inserted there by somebody it's not there no no I am saying that when it's when it got compiled it didn't uh, you know it, it got compiled in a way that didn't exactly follow the order of lady, revelation. Lady, okay, I just say to you, when God compiled, is it your God who collect the Quran or Uthman? Us he did, yeah. Uthman did, but it's through the guidance of you know, of the gui guidance of the divine. Who are you saying Uthman was was God was a prophet too? No, but people okay. can be inspired. So you're by a God. prophet. No, you're a prophet. What, what inspired? Come on, don't say, don't say it's, uh, things. You know, did your prophet? The Quran says, "Inna alayna jamuhu wa Quranuhu." Collecting the Quran is on Allah, not on the man. This is why when yeah, Muslim, and he did, and he did through people. God acts. See, you are now you are, Allah, Allah. you are fabricating answer because if he says it is on us. It's mean it is on us, not on the people. He did not say you collect the Quran and you uh, uh, preserve the Quran. We are the one who will preserve it. So when your God, he says it is on us, it's mean he, it is on us. So now you are changing it. You are saying uh, uh, us when Allah, he says on us, that's mean Uthman. Now I will go with you. Okay. You see, what for, this, for the sake of argument, for the sake of for, okay, hold on. For, I will go with Sorry, you. No, 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 hold on. For the sake of argument. Uthman was inspired by God. People make a video about this. We have a, we have something funny. So now Allah he inspired Uthman to put the verse there, but this is wrong because if he inspired him to put it there, and then we give after that a hundred seven verses something, that means this is a wrong place because today I completed your religion for you. Today I completed my favor upon you. He's talking about today, yes. and then you insert yes. it in the wrong day, and then I am a Muslim supposed to read the Quran. Who are you saying? Because it's wrong. wrong because Wait. because it's not today. And this is chapter five. You have so this verse read can the be Quran right. in this its verse, entirety. This verse can read be right. It in its entirety. Okay, hold on. If this verse can be right, is only if it is at the end of the book. At the end, the end of the movie. You say today I complete the origin for you. Today, I perfected his inner religion for you. I choose a stand for you. That makes sense. At the end, the last thing Muhammad, he said, he should be, should be this. So when you say that Uthman is the one who made decision and he inspired by Allah, well, obviously the inspiration of Allah is a foolish inspiration because this verse here does not make any sense to be inspired because it is not today you completed our religion. Um. And all what you said, uh, a port for you is haram. How did Islam became complete? <laughs> same, yeah, time, I, I, same time, I, I, same, same time. I, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is this verse all of it came you together? Try, see, look, CP. I want to say that you try to, you know, determine what God does. Like it's not up to you. What, no, 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 what it's, God inspires it's, it's up to me. It's up to, to me. It's, how, it's up to me. It's up to me. Secondly, to secondly, it's secondly, not up to you. It's, no, it's, up, to it's up to me. It's up to him. No, it's, it's up, up to, to his me. will. No, this is because you're oh, a believer. Because you're see, a believer, that's, that's you say true. that. My, 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 my friend, my friend, you are a believer. You say whatever uh, you want, no problem. But for me, I don't believe in this God, Allah. This God, Allah, He said you have half a brain, so I can I cannot believe in Him. Allah, He said you are stupid. I can't believe in Him. Allah, he said, you cannot be a witness in the court only in the in the case of of, of borrowing That's... money, and oh, two of you okay, have to okay, witness okay. against one man. So I cannot trust this God. But but I want to change topic. Hold on. So now you confirm to me that your prophet was bewitched, correct? Yes. Okay. But for a small period of but time, the... and okay. then he was cured by Allah. Okay. And also, hold on, also hold on, hold on. Okay. You, 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 you're you're by Allah. So why, why Allah did why not say? Have, why Allah you, did not? You, why Allah did not say? Hold, hold on, hold on. You're always why asking Allah, questions. I want. I want to ask. You, you can ask me after we finish topic. Hold on. Why Allah did not 
keep his promise. Is it the Quran says? He did. He did. No. He okay. Did hold on. Okay. Oh, let, let's see. Let's see. Did, though, let us see. See how the promise is kept. Let me explain to you. Okay. Let me explain to you. You're asking me a question. Uh -huh. You said he didn't keep his promise, but he did. He's the one who cured him. He's the one who sent those people to him hmm. so that they can show him exactly what happened to him right. and the cure. The curse was broken by Allah, so He did protect him. So I don't understand why okay. you're chapter asking, one, like, chapter one thirteen. Oh. Chapter one thirteen. It says, according to your prophet, the one who recite this chapter will be protected from magic. Correct? Yes. So how come he was not? Uh, because. You know, you cannot question how a lot of people can you question. You see, if I say to you, look, 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 if look, I say look, to you, okay, if okay, I am let a doctor, me explain okay, to you okay hold on, hold on. Me, if I am I a have, doctor, I have. I, if I'm a doctor and I say to you, if you take this medicine, you will be fine. And then I am not fine. Obviously, you are a doctor who is tr trying things on me. So is Allah a doctor trying medicine on us or he is sure? If he is sure, well, the Quran here saying that I seek refuge by Allah from from uh, from the dawn, etc. Blah 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 blah. And those who blow in the knots and those who practice the secret art supposedly is the one who practice the magic on Muhammad. And this verse, the chapter, the whole chapter, the purpose of it is to protect the Muslims, including Muhammad. Yes. Actually, um, this verse was okay, to let said, me ask you. this verse was let, said let to let Muhammad ask. specifically. Yeah. You you in the in the. Uh, in your Bible, hmm. he was struck. He was abandoned by God, and he he suffered Who? and all that. Who? Yub, Yub, right? Okay. Um, I think hmm. he it, was abandoned. Um, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so he 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 was abandoned by God, and he suffered and all that, even though he was a good person. If you want to give, God, me, if you God give me a story, him. give me a reference so we can read, and people will see that you are talking wrong. But anyway. Go ahead with the story. No, no, the story of you is uh, you. It's in your Bible. I know it is in your Bible. I know, and it because says, my, you, know, you don't God. have a story. You and don't then, have a story in your Quran. All the story is taken from the Bible. And yes, your prophet but is a thief. I am trying to explain okay. to you in a terms that uh -huh. make sense to you. Hmm. Like prophet, is he a prophet? But anyway, prophet, you and your in your uh, Bible. Hmm. He was abandoned by God, even though he was chosen by him, and he suffered a lot, and then. Allah in the end he he delivered him and then he made him you know prosperous and he made him better again hmm. it's the same way with with the prophet peace be upon him hmm. uh, he 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 was abandoned for a bit maybe he might have been bewitched uh, but at the end of the day hmm. who cured him and who protected him that's Allah so it mm. makes sense to me that you know mm. like there's no conflict there's no conflict in this story in my okay. head but you see you're mixing things up was this person under black magic no if he was poor yes, but okay hold if on he, if he the was the favor of god left him no no, left, no 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 okay no problem, no problem no problem god can be can lift me but this does not mean that if you see muhammad here did god lift him uh, he did uh you just you guys she just said something very important allah he left muhammad for no how, no, no i didn't long? say that no, for, no, I for didn't how long say that. for how long you did you just did no i didn't i didn't say that what i said no. was um no you just did in the bible it says that jacob oh, sorry a uh, you you know the, the arabic word, uh, name for him he was the most perfect person <laughs> He was the most perfect person, you know. So okay, uh, then, but okay. then he still suffered, right? He still suffered. He, he suffered because he's good, not because he's bad. Okay, but what I'm trying exactly. So the same way, the same. No, way no, the no. Prophet Here, is Muhammad, him, Muhammad. He suffered. Is, he suffered. He suffered, in, suffered in which way? Muhammad. He, he's talking about sex. We are talking about a guy. He imagined himself doing no, things he did not do. I mean, if you, you how you can compare between the two stories? No, 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 about a good look, guy, about look, a good guy, look, and Muhammad he is doing the opposite. So, so look, look what happened. When she, when, if I ask you, what is black magic? Is can you tell me what the black magic is? Is it from Allah or from Shaitan? No, it's not from Allah. It cannot be. It's from whom? Um, yeah, it's not from Allah. It's, it's from whom? It's not from Allah. From whom? Yeah, it, dep it depends, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not certain, I, mean, okay. I, look, not I, don't, Allah, I don't, okay, is, is black magic something evil or is good? It's not good, of course, it's okay. not good. Okay, so is it evil or good? 
it's it's bad. It's not good. Yeah. Okay, can you say the word evil or you cannot? Uh, yeah, okay, it's evil. Okay, yeah. what if I show you that the one who taught magic is Allah? Oh, no, no, no. I, I think you're going to go to uh, the story of Harut and... and Doesn't matter. And, uh, the, only no, one, no. the only one who taught magic is Allah. Okay, but that is, that's not black magic. You it said is, black magic. It is. You didn't, there's nothing you didn't called white, say... There's nothing that's called white magic and black magic. Magic is magic. Did your God Allah open a Harry Potter school to teach magic? Yes or no? You're completing certain stories in I'm the Quran. I'm not. And just to show you, if, okay, if I ask you, if somebody doing magic to for someone to divorce his wife, is that a good magic or a bad magic? Is it evil or good? Yeah, okay, it's not good. Okay, so um, Allah, he opened a school. Guys, she said, and thank you for being honest, chapter 2, verse 102, it says that Allah, he opened a school for a reporter. He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marud. And he taught magic to the people. And but he taught them this magic. Hold it's on. specific. It's a specific magic. It's okay, not but like you just said it's not good. But you just said this is not good. So, guys, Allah, he taught a specific magic. And the purpose of it is to make a wife divorce her husband. I mean, how, how, how evil is that more than this? Uh, you know, like... <laughs> I... I think maybe there's a reason for this. That's there's not, a reason. So, uh, if I, so now if I... If, not, I don't know if you're married or not. not my friend, my friend, with my respect to your family, if you are married, imagine somebody now, he used the magic which op, uh, uh, he, he learned from the school of Allah. And the purpose is to make a, a, a Darax divorce her husband. I mean, what kind of God he opened such a school? Maybe it's for a good reason, you know? Like, you good reason. Is, that, is a divorce in you from your husband is a good reason so your children would be homeless? Is that a good reason? I ask you, is divorcing people, causing people to divorce, is that a good thing? You said this is not bad. You said bad yourself a second ago. So it's bad. There's no question about it. Destroying family is bad. So what kind of God? He sent two <laughs> angels to, to open a school of Harry Potter. They come with their broom. Wait, and they're teaching you now how to do shalalu, shakaku, halalalu, lalu, lalu. And now they're actually hit <laughs> no, her husband. No, 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 no. Secondly, secondly, you see, the verse in the Quran saying, Suleiman is not the one who disbelieves. Okay, why? Because Suleiman is practicing black magic. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. What kind? What kind of a prophet he practiced black magic? Black magic. Well, yeah. She, uh, Suleiman, Allah, he gave him. Uh, uh, Suleiman, he have a ring. He controlled his kingdom with it. And this ring, if he yeah, it off, yes. Okay, you believe in this story, right? right? He have a ring. Okay. I mean, it. It's not in the Quran, though. I think. Uh, no, but the story like... is coming from here. The story is coming from here. You know. The story. Okay. Okay. So. The story is saying I don't... that Allah He made He made this man Suleiman have a have a ring, and this ring is a magical ring, correct? You know, we're going all sorts of places. I no, just want no, we to are all, we, we are still in, we are still in one Look. place. Trust me, we are still in one place because if if a black magic is evil and Muhammad was controlled by black magic for a day or ten or forty or for for ten years, it doesn't matter. And then we find yes, that the black magic I'm is coming, trying... and then the evil magic is coming from Allah. There's no there's no knowledge. All the knowledge in the world is coming from Allah. Do you agree or not? Yes, okay. look, what so, I want to so say, what I want magic. to say, can you let me speak one second? Okay, so that it's no, I'm just trying to, to put things people. together. I'm just trying to put things together. Black magic is coming from the knowledge of Allah. Allah opened a school. People did join the school. He made them sign disclaimer that this is to do this. They agree with the disclaimer. And then they go start practicing black magic. How foolish that is there to be. Go ahead. Okay, what I want to say is that um, it's possible for God's favor to leave good people. But it's not a sign that they are uh, bad people. It, it's not a sign that they're not prophets of God. This is apparent even in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So your argument about his bewitchment is not, it does, it's not sensible. It's not fair. Uh, you have stories in your Bible where Allah, where uh, your God leaves your prophet, 
even if he's a good person. So for you to bring up, uh, you know, stories about the prophet and then, you know, making fun, even though, prophet, even though the same exact hadith shows you, the same exact hadith okay, shows on. you. You are mixing things up. Those prophet, none of them, he got to what your prophet he have. Your prophet obviously is mentally ill. Let me ask you, if somebody tried to kill himself, is he crazy? Yes. Is he bewitched? Is he uh, stupid? Is uh, he what? Why, why somebody would try to kill himself? I don't God knows. Uh, what do you mean? Like, it's not a good if thing. If somebody, yeah. okay, if somebody, he decided to kill himself, is that an act from God or from Satan? The idea, who put the idea? It means they're who, struggling. Who, it yeah, means but, they're but struggling. But who put the idea in your it head? It means they're struggling. Okay, but who you think? Is the one behind the idea to kill yourself? Oh um, man, I I have seen I have seen you know I have been seeing your uh, lives like I I've been watching some of your videos for mm. a while, yeah. so I know which hadith you're gonna bring up. Okay. I but the but the fact is the fact is mm. that <laughs> incident was because you know he felt like maybe the like the revelation from Allah wasn't coming to him mm -hmm. uh, and he he felt abandoned by by God maybe but then but then Jibril came to him right and mm -hmm. he, he comforted him so he, that's the beauty of it right like even when you are at your lowest even when well, you're this is not what happened. feeling this is, like this you've is been not what abandoned happened. this is not what happened you get the Muhammad, Muhammad, delivered Muhammad, by God and just, to you, just, to you, just to show you just to show you just to show you that the story about Muhammad being bewitched is actually explanation of Muhammad being mentally ill so Muslims and the Arab at that time anything they don't cannot explain they say he was bewitched. So if you read the story with me, you will see that the angels keep coming to him each time he climbed the mountain to throw himself, correct? Okay. Okay. Yes. And then what is the what what, what is the angel says to him? He comforted him, right? No, no, how how he comforted him? What he said, what he said to him? There's a sentence. Uh, yeah, I have to look it up. Okay, it's, it's says, it, so. you are indeed Allah Messenger, correct? You are indeed Allah Messenger. In truth, okay. whereupon, whereupon mm -hmm. his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and return home. Yes, so, see, okay. that's the beauty. Why don't you see the beauty in okay, this? But Muhammad, he come the second day to do the same thing. At your lowest. Listen, listen. He came to him, he sent his angel to him, okay. he made him. All right, guys. Yes. Okay, he sent the angel to him, he told him, You are indeed Allah Messenger. Did Muhammad believe in that? Huh? Sorry? Did Muhammad believe in what the angel said? Yes, of course. So why it he comes second, down so why he come, he was, so why he comes he second calm. okay, why he comes second day to kill himself again and the third day and the fourth day and the fifth day? Is that a joke? If Muhammad is not mentally Look, ill, an you know, angel of someone, God, hold on, an angel of God, he came to me. He said to me, I'm already yeah. a prophet. I met this angel many times. He spoke to me many times. He saw him with 600 wings. Okay, no problem. Wonderful. So why in the world he will go to the top of the mountain? Then the angel appeared to him. And then he said to him, Muhammad, don't do it. For sure you are a messenger of Allah. Muhammad, he like it. He go back home. Second day, he woke up in the morning. He put his shoes. He put iPad, 30, uh, I, I, you know, iPhone 13 in his hand. He climbed the mountain because he needed the direction GPS, you know. So he go to the mountain, top of the mountain to throw himself again. Obviously, he's mentally ill. Mm -mm. No, sir. Okay, you're, you convince you your room. son. You, you know, you are not God. You are <laughs> no, human. You're... You are not God, and you convince yourself now that I am a prophet of God. So, what was the problem? Muhammad himself, he don't trust. He is a prophet of God. That's why he want to kill himself. Because what the what we the angel said doubts. to him, what the story is saying. We, we all have doubts. Don't you have doubts? Okay, thank you very much, guys. Like, so. Th thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, lady. Guys, Muhammad, he have a doubt that he is a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's, you just said, you just said that. No, so, Muhammad, no, you don't think, no. it's all no, this, it's no, in front of you. No, no. Just listen, you, can, you can deny it, you just said it. And the story in the front of you, Muhammad, he have a doubt that he is a prophet of Allah.
And then the angel, his duty is what? To come to him, says, listen, listen, you are a prophet of Allah for sure. Come on, don't kill yourself. Come on, Abdul. And Muhammad, okay, okay, I'm a prophet of Allah. I will go home. Then Muhammad, he go to sleep. He take a shower, you know, with, with dead dogs and women, blood from period. And then he wake up in the morning. He take his iPhone. He go to Home Depot and he climb the mountain. Sorry. And he decide to kill himself. And now you explain to me that everyone have a dove. This is not a dove. This is mentally ill. Because yesterday, the angel just came to him, says to him, you are prophet of Allah. Stop it. That's mean Allah is communicating with him. He have no reason to go and do that. Allah, he did not leave you alone. Um, Allah, he sent you an angel. Look. And the angel, he comforted you, as you said. So the confrontation of the angel is not working. Secondly, if Allah is all-knowing of the future. It did Allah, work. It did on. work. He, listen, listen, I mean, this no, is, it did not work. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. If initially. Allah want to save Muhammad from killing himself, from the, uh, throw him from the top of the high mountain, why he waited and did the poor guy go to the top of the mountain? Why Allah don't send the messenger, the angel, in a front of his room hey Muhammad where are you going don't mm. go to the top of the mountain so he leave the poor Muhammad they climb in the mountain he sweat he go now he's oh, on the top oh, now he's no. going to throw himself and now the angel appear I mean okay. what is it what a joke what a joke no God comes to our deliverance whenever he feels like yeah. is okay so Allah time. he come to your deliverance for example, only for example, when you are all, okay so Bible, how come you see no problem uh, Ibrahim, I have no problem with God it, come when he want do what he want no problem yes, I'm a question so I'm a question God? you're a prophet you're a prophet already converted by the angel to him you are a message of Allah already he received tons of chapters from the Quran so why he's trying to kill himself because he's meant to heal no, it's okay. because let us, he... let us give you more no, proof. Let, let, us me... you, let us give you more proof. Have you ever heard of somebody? Sorry, I just have you to, ever, you have know, you I ever just, heard? I just called you because no, you called me because now you are in, you are in trouble, my my friend. You are in trouble. Have you ever heard of somebody? He is a smart and he is not mentally ill. He take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. And stinky garbage. Oh no 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 no! What no? I am not gonna talk about that. Why I don't are you gonna talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about because that. Because shameful. Obviously, Muhammad is mentally ill. Because a person he have no mental issue, he will not go and jump in such a place. This is why you don't want to talk about it. Look, uh, certain hadiths, you know, they're not very reliable. Oh, so... it says it says hey. I will show you only what is Sahih. I will not show you something that's Sahih. Here we go. This is Sahih in the front of your eyes. This is Sahih in the front of your eyes. This is Sahih in the front of your eyes. I'm not going to show you anything is not Sahih. So when you say a certain hadith, you see how you deny it yourself right away because it is embarrassment. So what you do in order to get away from the madness of your prophet, you suddenly you jump to a conclusion saying, oh, I'm not going to accept this. Even in my book, it says Sahih. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, for that, uh, the circumstances are not clear to me. Uh -huh. Maybe there was a reason why. Why? Okay, the maybe there was a reason. Maybe there was a reason why he felt like. My friend, you see, if there is a reason, people they will ask him for the reason. He will give them the reason, and he did. <laughs> they ask him why you are doing this. He gave the reason. You see, my, you see, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to insult you. I don't want to put you down. But I'm trying to speak to you in any language you like. He, they ask him why you are doing this. They ask him, and he gave the answer. Uh, he says, so what? Water is always pure, but who believe in such a garbage? Water is all pure. This is a, a small body of water. It's not running in water. It is a dry... I think, okay, could, could you agree with me that maybe this isn't like quite literal the way we understand it? Maybe this is my, a sort of... My friend, what uh, representation... Listen, listen. There, a there representation works. of the fact that, you know, water is purifying, you know? Like no, it's, no, no, no. The you water see, is this water is, is not going to purify you. This water Will make you more dirty because you see you're a prophet he's in a different hadith. no but spiritually if a, if a, if a dog, what spiritual, spiritual Muslim don't have a spir maybe. Muslim don't have anything spiritual in the whole Quran you can search you will see no that's spiritual a lie. things uh, okay that's a lie what are you saying uh, okay, I, mean, I will challenge you I will take your challenge to show me the spirituality in Islam you will see none none all your islamic practice is ritual no spiritual from kissing the black stone from going around the no, Kaaba, we doing dua, we, we talk, no, no dua we is talk, not we dua, to dua too we, is not a spiritual it is a ritual how, because how you, have to, spiritual? you have I, to say I it pray, in certain I way, way you, you have to say it in certain way you have to say it in certain time you have to say it and repeat it in certain way this is not dua is something you say from your heart 
Not somebody telling no, you what to, what to uh, say. We just we don't we don't have now to. Listen, we, know, will like, yes, we will go there. We will go there. Okay. Like you know, may Allah kill the Christian. This is rich. This is spiritual, right? Oh Allah, don't make us the same as the Christian and the Jews, uh, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. This is what the Quran is saying. So this is a ritual. This is not ritual. This is evil. Focus with me. <sighs> so now you're a prophet jumping in the dump dump water. There's dead dogs and women blooded from period. And you come to me and you say this is spiritual. Explain. I'm telling you that maybe we don't have to take it very like this maybe. story there's might be. Dog. There's that hey, dog. No, no, okay, okay. Don't tell okay, me the word sir. maybe. Please, please, okay, please. You know, okay, I want to listen, listen to you. I want to listen to you. But I don't, I'm to, trying, I don't okay. want to talk to someone have a brain of a kid. You, I, I respect you, an adult, and speak to me as an adult. Don't tell me maybe. Is it maybe or, yes. it is, or it is a? Is it a maybe a dog or it's a real dog? It's maybe a um, woman blood I'm from kid or it you. is a real blood. Okay, does Jesus in the Bible talk about? Parables, like you know, he gives this examples. This is not a parable. Like, this guy he, is he, jumping. He talks don't, about... jump, don't jump, please. Is it, does it say this is a parable, or it says this is a true story? They found him taking a shower with their dogs. If it says a parable, I will accept. I'm not making things up. There's a story in front of us. They said to him, "Are you doing this? Read me carefully." Abu Dawood, I heard a uh, Qutayba uh, uh, and uh, Saeed saying, I asked the person in charge of the well, it's, uh, actually, let's go to the part. Hold on, I jump here. I heard that the people mm -hmm. asked the Prophet of Allah, Water is brought to you from the well of Bida, is the well of which dog, dead dogs and yeah. menstrual clothes and ex uh, uh, excrement of people thrown in. Muhammad, he says, Water is always pure. More story here. Maybe when he says that, when it was said, Oh Allah Messenger, shall we use the water of Bidaha to perform abolition, which is minstrel rags and flesh of dogs and garbage dumped in it? He says, Water is always pure. Continue. It was said, Oh Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu. He performed wudu there in the well. Okay, from okay, where, okay. I've read it. Which? I've read it. I've okay. seen your. I've seen All right. this. So, is here. that ritual? Is that is that a spiritual or this is physical? Uh, okay, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how to justify this. I don't. I know. can. So, He's crazy. This is an act of a crazy man. Muhammad, he have a he have a drinking water no, in his house. No, no, don't say okay. that. Don't, okay, don't okay. Say Muhammad, that. He Sorry, have it's not. Muhammad, he have a drinking water in his house. Do he drink from the same water? No. Okay. So why he's doing this? Okay. So see, I look. Why? I haven't. I haven't found a reasonable explanation for this. You don't but have I can a reason. You, you cannot. I can. Obviously, for me, he is okay. But Ill. for me, for me, at least, you know, like I can give you what I think, right? I, I'm okay. not gonna claim that this is, um, you know, like it's the understanding of uh, every Muslim. First mm. of all, when I'm calling here, you know, I'm calling on behalf of me. I don't want people to think that, you know, like I'm speaking for everybody. Mm. Uh, but for me, the way I understand it is that this might be a parable of sorts where he's talking about maybe the purifying nature maybe, maybe, uh, of maybe water. This, maybe this has happened when he was under the practice of a black magic. Okay, I want to move away from this because I huh? look again. I claimed that I don't know, so I just want to move away from it. Okay. Uh, I think I've addressed what I wanted to. I I have told okay. you. Okay, one, one more thing. Know, one like, more thing. I want to just uh, just to to make it more clear how much you understand of your religion. Is Muslim women are allowed to see people in the street if they are dressed not like I mean nothing? Wait, not, what do you mean? Like, do okay, you mean? Are, should you cover your eyes when you see a man, or you can't see a man? You, you should lower your gaze, but uh, I mean, you're allowed to watch. What do you mean? Like you're supposed to see people. Yeah. Okay. I'm asking you. You lower you, you lower your okay. gaze. You're like, not supposed to look lustfully at other people, but you can watch people like normal, like a normal person. So. All right. So you cannot do that. If you yeah. do that, what is that? What does that mean? If you do such a thing, you, you look closely on those people. If a man, he see a woman and he look at her in a very bad way and she is not his. Is he a bad person? It's not, uh, it's not advised. Yeah, but is, is what is that? Though? Is it is a bad or is a good? We uh, we have to control our lust. Is what I'm trying to tell you, right? Obviously, we're human beings. So what happens in the end is 
it depends if i go to on, your, if i go to on the circumstances I, I go, it depends go, on the don't give me a circumstance see you are not being honest now can a man look at a woman she is not his in a sexual way wait sorry could you, could you repeat that question can a man sorry. can a man look yes. at a woman uh -huh. in a sexual way just looking he's not doing anything and he you know he he he, he like what he says we should lower our gaze and we shouldn't look lustfully that goes, at others so, so a man he should not look at a woman if a woman if i'm sitting in front of my home and a woman walk by yes. i should not look at yes. her in any way have lost on it correct Yes, that's advice. Okay, yes. advice. But I like, again, I like guys. Mean, I like again, I advice. Want, look, what, I, what advice I, mean? Is that a I sin? Is that a, is that a sin or it's good? Yeah. If I see a woman, let us say a woman, she walks in front good. of my house. It's, not good. it's bad, right? Okay. It's not good. So how do you explain to me, yeah. your prophet, a woman she walk by his house and he stare at her and he gets so horny? He got horny from what? From looking at her iPhone 13. Again, like I said, sir. It depends. Uh, again, you you can you know uh, human beings are fallible, right? Okay. You, so, you're, but, but you're a prophet you're supposed... teaching you. But you're a prophet is not teaching you what you say that you have to lower your gas. Your prophet now is practicing uh, the opposite. Look, let me ask you: You as a woman, when you go in the street, are you allowed to look with your eyes and see people in the street? Yeah, no. Okay. I, I, if a friend, if a friend of your, if 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 a, if a friend of your husband, he's a nice person, he come to visit you, and you are wearing the hijab, are you allowed to see him? And your husband is there. No. Your husband is there. You can't see him. Yeah. You can or you cannot. Just in look in general, in general, you're not supposed to lustfully look at any people. You're supposed to lower your gaze and have okay. pure intent if you're, when if you you're, interact. What with if people. you're? What if you're? husband a friend he is a blind is it okay if you are in the room not wearing hijab what kind of scenario is this like well, I'm asking, i, I want to learn I, i'm asking you is it okay to wear hijab and he is blind he's blind he can't see you is it okay sure, why not sure yeah why not? sure so sure. do you yeah. agree with me that if your husband he said to you you have to wear hijab because there's a blind man in the room that will make him crazy it doesn't. You should wear your hijab anyway. No, inside why, the why house you wear hijab. Yeah. You're inside your house, and the man inside your house is visiting your husband. He's next to you, and he's blind. Yeah, but he. Why do you want to wear the hijab? Is the guy is blind? Uh, well, because he's not mahram, right? So he he well, at he the end of the day you. should wear. He can't see you. you cannot, he cannot see you. The hijab. The purpose of the hijab to prevent him from seeing things he should not see. Correct. The purpose is modesty. No, the yes. purpose is he cannot see you. He should not see things. I don't know where we're see. going with this. I'm, I'm so asking confused. you. Okay. I want to see so, how, how much well, honest. I want to see how much honest you are. So if you have, uh, if you have the the cousin of your husband, he's coming to your house and he is a blind, and you are sitting next to your husband. He is not. You are not alone. I'm not going to be alone in the room. I'm saying you are with your husband in the same room. Let us say living room. If there is any anyone who's not mahram to you, you have to wear your hijab. That's the guy is what blind. I know. The guy is and I, that's what I'm telling. The guy is blind. Should you cover yourself in the front of a blind guy? You know why should you follow different rules for different people? I'm not asking then you for different rules. I'm not related. asking you. He's the not purpose related. of the hijab. You, you see, so you are, my friend, you are being hypocrite now. You are being hypocrite just because you don't want to see that your prophet is mentally ill. A man, a, a man, he came to visit Muhammad, and this man is blind, and he ordered his <laughs> wives to cover themselves. I asked you, can you see people? Can you walk in the street, see people? You see, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you watch TV? Yes, you do. There's no different. The person in the TV, he cannot see you. You watch a movie, the guy, he cannot see you. And you are not wearing hijab, you are wearing uh, whatever clothes you have. So now you, it's okay because he cannot see you. So you're a, you're a prophet. He come with a conclusion <coughs> or logic because his wife get him busted. Mm -hmm. He ordered his wife to wear hijab. The guy is Ibn Umm Maktoum. He is a blind man. He come to visit Muhammad. He told the wives, cover yourself, cover yourself. 
The wife, they said, mm. cover yourself from what? He is a blind man. He said, oh, well, he is a blind, are you? Based on this, Muslim women, mm. they should not see any man. So if hijab mean that a woman, she cannot be seen, that's mean Muhammad is a fool. Because the man, he cannot see her. He's a blind, totally blind, born blind. If the hijab mean that even a blind man we have to wear in front of him, that means Muslim women, they cannot see any man, including a blind man without hijab. And this is totally stupid. Because the purpose of the hijab, that if someone he is a stranger for you, not like your brother or your father, he should not see your hair because it's a private part, which is very funny. So now the, the, the man is a blind. They will not talk. Muhammad, you are not even talking. He said, he cannot even recognize us. He do not know us. He never saw us. He cannot recognize us. So he will not even notice we are here. He says, oh, he's a blind. Are you blind too? This is an answer of a crazy man, not of a man he have any logic. Not a man who have a, because his wife got him busted. They gave him an answer, which is showing that he's stupid. Well, he's blind. Why do you want to wear hijab? So now I ask all Muslims, if you are truthful, follow the prophet of Islam, then you should not let your wife go in the street. Actually, you now are committing sin according to Islam. Isn't it your prophet? He says your voice is a hawla. Your voice is a private part. The women, she have 10 private parts. No, yes, come it on. is. So you can Allah. talk to anybody. Like, there's no... See, you're making up stuff now. Okay, hold on. Guys, okay, okay, but... What? I just... I, I don't understand... First of all, I don't agree with what you just said. All of it, you know... Do you want me to show you a video of a shake in English? <laughs> huh? Look, CP, I came to answer. You could not answer anything. You. Thank you very much for calling. Anyway, but I can show you the fatwas, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, which is proving that you are. And not only that, you know, if you want to speak to a Muslim woman, you have to talk to her from behind the hijab. And look what you said. You said it's wrong for a man to look at a woman. She is not his. Your prophet, when he went to Safiya, sorry, to, to, uh, to uh, Zainab, he went to the house of Zainab when Zaid was not there. And he said to her, Subhan mu'allifu qulub, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. So your, your prophet, your God Muhammad, he go to the house of his own son wife, mm -hmm. and he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there. And who is the one reporting those stories for us? You Muslims. Is that correct? Sorry, I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I, look, I'm making things yeah, up. No, I, no, no, I've read that. I've seen it on your okay. life. No, no, I don't, don't tell me I didn't see it in my life. Is it in your book? I struggle. Okay, is yeah, that no, true? I struggle with that story. I don't know. I, I don't know what this is about. You know, I'm not pretending that you know, I know You don't know. You see, my friend, listen, this. listen. You have to be honest. You struggle with this story because this guy, he is teaching you supposed to be decent. Then he himself is the last one to be decent. He go to the house of a man. He's married. Regards his wife like him, don't like him. She is his wife. So, Muhammad, a woman, she walked in I... front of him. He got horny. A woman in her house, she is not doing anything wrong. She is in her house. And she opened the door for someone. She supposedly he is the father of her husband at that point. So, again, she did nothing wrong. And look what your prophet do. He go to the house of the man. He flirt with the women. And he said to her, Oh, praise be to Allah. Even he used the name of God. He abused it to make it lawful for him to flirt with married women. How even you insert the name of your God there? Aren't you ashamed? How you say praise be to Allah for a woman she is married? My heart flipped for you. Allah, he make it a flip for you. And then he made a verse in the Quran saying, Allah, he told me to tell you. Why do you want to divorce you, 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 you liar? A second ago, you were in the house of the guys flirting with the wife. When the husband, he came back, the wife, she told him, your father was here. And he said this to me. The story says, Fatina Zaid. He got it, Zaid. He went to his father's house. He said, father, I want to divorce her. He knew that there is a relationship between them. And look how bad this wife. She did not say to him, shame on your father. Look what he did. She loved it. Because why she want to marry the poor man who is adopted? He was just a slave. And she will not have the king. 
so she loved the opportunity she will be the toy of Muhammad she will be spoiled can you answer this is it this is a behavior of a person he is mentally ill is mentally ill a person who have a brain let us say for the sake of you know he is a he's a true prophet or not let's say he's not a true prophet but if he have a little brain he will not do this because obviously this is wrong maybe you know maybe there is a wisdom behind this story that oh, there's a wisdom you, it's not Guys, there is a wisdom to go not, to the house okay i go to the house it's of, not of the dogs oh, oh, I, 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 I don't mean to insult you no it's for me to ask you see you keep saying don't ask because you're trying to protect a, a, a filthy man it's so, so you are saying now a man he go to your house and now you are in the house of your husband and you are married and this house he claimed to be a long beard cheek and then you open the door for him trust in him and he said to you, may Allah, my Allah, he made my heart flip for you. And you say there's a wisdom behind that. No, I'm, not, I'm saying that maybe there's something we're missing in this story. We're uh, missing. I have the whole yeah, story no, in front I'll of you. I openly admit that this story doesn't make sense to me. Like, I, I don't think it's right. But the fact of the matter is, I not, we don't have the wisdom of God. So you're I God, don't know why. God, you have no wisdom. I, I don't want to use a language which is not fit to speak to a lady. But obviously, Aisha, she got him busted. She said, Inni ara rabbuka ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see that your God, he run into your temptation, Muhammad. So this God, he always in the service of the private part of Muhammad. And Aisha, she got him busted. Why does God he always run run into into temptation? Look, Let's, this is Aisha. This is Aisha. Know. This is not a Christian woman. She said she noticed Muhammad. He made a verse saying, "Any woman she give a you know give her soft to the Prophet to do what with her to have sex with her. What kind of a Prophet he need women? Like, already you have many women. Why you are making a verse says any woman she give she wish she wish to give herself to the Prophet." And then Aisha, she said, it seemed that your Lord has him to satisfy your desire. Aisha, she is not a fool. She knew that her husband is a fraud. I don't think it's this. I don't think it like the context of it is just to, to show that. Um, Read it. The women, they are offering He has themselves. a favor of God. Re okay, he right, has right, a favor okay, of okay, God. Okay, take care, take care. Yeah. It's just a waste Ooh. of time. It is a waste of time because simply you are not being honest. A prophet of God who believe in God, he teach people decency, yet he is the last one to be decent. And how we teach people decency, you can go and rent a woman for three days. He teach people how to clean themselves, and how he clean himself, he go and jump in the dirty water, have dead dogs and women blood from period. He clean, you know, he claimed not to be a thief, but all his religion start, start by theft. Even his marriage to Khadija was by making the father drunk. This is in your stomach books. And they made him dress clothes when he is sleep drunk. He woke up in the morning. He said, Why am I wearing those clothes? Khadija, she said, You forgot you married me to Muhammad. He said, No, I did not. The first thing he did in his life was a fraud. And why God need to do, make a verse saying any woman she want to give herself to the prophet. What is that? Always all cult leaders, they share one thing. They want your wife and your money. Let us call Muhammad. He just sent me a message. Muhammad, how are you? Hello? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What you send me in the in the in the chat, I want people to hear what you said. Hello? You hear me? Hello. Ah, uh, you don't hear me now? Hello? Um let me call you back. Uh, we lost
close to a gain. It says N available. I think you have a bad connection. Well, he is welcome to call. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, Muhammad. I hear you, Sheikh Muhammad. How are you? Yes. So, what? What? Uh, I, I saw a text from you. I want people to hear yes. what you decide. What you decide? I accept it. I accept what? I accept Jesus as my savior. I mean to that. Hallelujah. We are so happy to Sheikh Muhammad. He is a, he is the best Sheikh, and now he is going to be the best Christian. Praise the Lord! I have a real big problem about now. What is your problem? I have to leave this country. You will find your way. Maybe yes. You will find your way. No problem. You know, always always the Lord. He open doors, my friend. So we are happy for our friend. Please, all of you, put him in your prayer. Our friend Sheikh Muhammad, he decided to accept Jesus as his Lord and has sa as his Savior. And this I is accept it because I know there is there is something who is true about Jesus. That's the reason. Because, but I don't. I ask him. I asked for him. I asked for him many days, many nights, but still, he don't show himself to me. What happened today? Today? Yeah. Why well, you accepted him today? I made a decision today. What made you make the decision? Just because he's good? I made this decision because... I struggle with myself to believe in, in such a stuff. So, you know, Islam doesn't make any sense. Islam is silly. Islam is stupid. And now you sense. have an option of Christ, which is a very extremely amazing person. Correct? But now I have more problems <laughs> than before. No, you don't. You have zero problem. You are this. No, no. You see, problems, they all exist as long as we see them as a problem. I find that sometimes problems are the best uh, uh, things happen to us. You see, everything happened to me in my life, which I thought it was a problem. It turned to be something good for me. You are not in my, you are not in my position right now. My friend, you can, you can, you can, you know, if uh, being in that country, you can leave that country. Whatever country you are in, this is not really, this is temporarily problem. Secondly, you know, the Lord, he says, they don't fear those who destroy the body, fear those who destroy the soul. So your soul is saved and you accepted the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. The second step is read more the gospel, get close to the Lord and find your way out of this country because your life is insecure there. And you know what? Things happen for a good reason. Maybe the Lord, he want to send you to a different country so you can be a person, a disciple, to speak of him, to bring more Muslims. You see, the lady, she, she called me, she was saying about a, a prophet in the, in the Bible, in the Bible, Ayub, you know Ayub, right? So Ayub... This girl is lost. Yeah. But Ayub, he's struggling he's because, he's, because he's a good person. Not like Muhammad. Muhammad struggling from what? Too many women? Too much money? Too much yeah. filth? I mean, this guy is obviously, he's mentally ill and he is filthy. So, you cannot compare I'm between this and I'm sorry for the that. black guy. I'm sorry for the black guy who have called you. I'm sorry for him because... He will um, leave Islam, trust me. One of them, they call in the beginning. You see, it just... Uh, uh, two months ago, I have a seminar, and all the seminar, all the, attend my seminar, they are black people. There's only two white people. All of them, they are either from Nigeria. Most of them, actually, there's Nigeria, there's other, you know, uh, African countries. Uh, 
but all of them they were shocked and they could not believe that this is what Islam is about I asked one of them I remember what do you think about Islam he says the good thing about Islam it teach uh, self-respect and then after if he have, yeah if, uh, for real if he has self-respect then he don't uh, join Islam no no he's, he's not a Muslim, Muslim. He's, he's I'm, not Muslim. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm yeah. living here. I have many black people around around me, but they are slaves. Islam make you a slave, even if you are black or white. They are matter. slaves. Yeah, Islam is a religion of slavery. They are real slaves. We are slaves too uh, for Allah, but they are slaves. Yeah, for us. Yeah, well, I'm so happy for you, uh, uh, Muhammad. Uh, uh, you know, I ask all the Christians here to pray to our our brother Muhammad to. Uh, to know the truth more and to get close to the Lord and I advise you to read the Bible, the, the Gospel. You can start from the Gospel of John and uh, read carefully and don't read by your lips, read by your heart. Live the story, don't read the story. We are not Muslims who recite and memorize empty words. The Bible is not Quran. Quran is an empty, false statement, mean nothing. They don't even make sense. The verse before it doesn't make sense with the verse after it, etc. So read from it with your heart. Live the story. Don't read words. Live the words. This is my advice for you. If there is anything you want to say to the to the to the people that are listening to you as a message from you. Uh... Don't make holidays in Syria or stuff like that. Is that what make you go there? You want to do holiday and then you stuck? No, I don't make holiday here. Hmm. I went to Syria because I can live here under, Islam, under Islamic law. Hmm. Yes, that's all. All right. Well, my friend, I will, I will be happy to receive more calls from you. And if you have Muslim friends, they can call me. It's time for me to go. I'm here for long, and I have some work if to I do. If I tell them that, uh, if I tell them to call you, maybe they kill me. Okay, well, uh, tell them to call me after you leave the country, not now. All right. Take care. All right. Take care, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. Well, we are happy to our friend Muhammad who decided to leave Islam, and uh, I hope that uh, the lady who she called, I feel sorry for her. She is trying to give all kind of excuses to the false prophet. Nobody can excuse that. How we can even, I cannot, you see, I don't want to say, can I compare between Muhammad and, and Jesus? That is an insult to my Lord. That is an insult. Would the Messiah will live? Would Islam you die? They rejoice for killing. We pray for their safety. You go to every single church, they pray to everybody, Hindus, Buddhas, Muslims. We pray for everybody's safety. We don't pray for death. We don't worship death. Our God is unique. Our God is holy. Their God is Satan. And we prove it every day. Jesus said, time will come and people think by Cain you they are doing a favor to God. Well, think carefully, my friend. If God want to save me, he will not kill me. He will send me a messenger, after messenger, after messenger. With Christ, we are new people. Christ is the one who restored the human inside us because a human being became like an animal. I go to the house of my friend, I flirt with the wife of my friend, yet I claim to be a prophet. I see a child of my friend, she is six years old, I want to have her in the bed, yet I claim to be a prophet. I made verses saying to my followers, God told me any woman she want to give herself to me so I can sleep with her. And I don't want to use filthy word language. Because the world is really that ugly. 
I claim to be a doctor, but yet I say the most stupid things, sperm coming from the backbone of the man, and the sperm of the women come from the ribs, which women have don't, don't have a sperm. I claim to be a doctor, I explain how the earth is created, professor in geology, people die laughing, and yet my followers, they fabricate videos trying to change what I said to make it fit with code science. A true believer don't do that. A true believer, he will not change his faith because of science. They are false. Science doesn't say that Mary, she can have a child without a man. I believe against science. Science doesn't say that there is someone he can fast for 40 days. Nobody can do that. I believe. But the most thing, most important, to make me follow Jesus, that everything he said is beyond wisdom. One sentence of Christ's teaching will destroy all the books of wisdom. Love your enemy. If each one of us practice a sentence, you see they are meeting in the stupid United Nation, which is nothing but United of false leaders who bring a bunch of boys from Korea to stand on the stage to teach us morality. Love your enemy. If everybody love his enemy, this earth will turn into heaven because then nobody have an enemy. Human beings, they are desperately in need of money and jobs and food, yet they spend trillions of dollars on arms and weapons to kill each other. They don't love their enemy. They want to kill each other. And this human being, the evil one, he is getting ready to destroy the whole earth again. And maybe this is his time when the judgment day will come because the coming war will be different. The evil human being, he don't want to follow Jesus. Yet they claim to be Christian, and those they claim to be Muslims, and those they claim to be Buddha, but all of them they follow nothing but the devil, those leaders. They seek one thing, the destruction of God creatures. And we are included. Everything for them is a business. You watch the speeches in the United Nations, you will die laughing from being sad, not from happiness. Joe Biden, he says, we have no war. For the first time after 20 years, we have no war. Are you sure? We have no war. And that's it, we have no enemy. And we are living in heaven. Speeches. Who want to believe the fool except the fool? Taliban is going to be a member of the United Nations. Who? How stupid is that? What happened to human rights, women rights, blah, blah, right? Everything is politics. Everything is a joke. Everything is a game. Everything is for sale. So my friend, with the Messiah, we are going to the straight direction with the Lord. He said, I am the way. I am the door. I am the life. I am the resurrection. And yet Abdul says to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Stay with the truth. Never be politically correct. Never. When you compromise with little thing, you're in compromising with your honor. And then your faith. And then you are gone. You are just a soul owned by the devil. Don't believe in someone he promised you virgins in heaven. God is not a pimp. He's not. Don't believe in someone promised you little boys to serve you. Even slavery in heaven, even in heaven there are slaveries, and the slaves are boys this time, which we more ugly. Who can justify that? Unjust in heaven. 
Women are created just for my sexual desire in heaven, and they have no jealousy, which means this God, he destroy their nature as a human. They became just six toys made from silicon. How filthy. But this is what happened when you follow satanic God and satanic prophet who was bewitched by little black magic taken from his hair. What a joke. You try to defend Satan, Satan did not support you. As you see, none of them can answer anything, even though we go so easy with them. Follow Satan as you wish. And I follow God. We pray that the Lord forgive us for our sin, for all of us we are sinners. We pray that the Lord, he will open the eyes of the Muslims. We pray that the Lord will bring more like Muhammad, who was so proud to be a Muslim just a few days ago. And today he accepted Jesus. We pray that this lady who called me to defend Muhammad, she will see the truth. And she herself, she said, I have a trouble with this story. How Muhammad, he go to the house with his own son and he flirt with his own son wife. This is a satanic person. This is another person who pretend to be, even for a second, a decent. He is not even pretending. He is saying to you that he is the devil. Well, Jesus said, if your eye is going to mislead you, you better take it away. Take it off. Unblock it. Muhammad himself, he go and he used his eyes to flirt with the one who trusted him, the one who considered him his own father. He gave him the key to his house. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And today we showed you the fruits of Muhammad. Ugly and no sugar coating. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. As you know, we don't keep our videos in my channel, and you understand why. God bless for all you, all of you. We pray. I mean to that. Thank you.